Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are going back to the original game in the West Kingdom trilogy with a bonus video for a playthrough of the co-op mode with the Age of Artisans expansion. Yes, this is again published by SJ McDonald and Shem Phillips, published by Garfield Games as well as Renegade here in the US. And like Monique said, this is the co-op experience, so there's nothing competitive <laughs> about this one, except we do have to deal with the Overlord, which Monique will tell you about soon. Yes. And so we're excited to be doing this playthrough. It's kind of just like a fun extra video for the West Kingdom trilogy that we just finished kind of wrapping up. Yep. We figured this would be a kind of a nice way to showcase some of the stuff in the Age of Artisans expansion, mm -hmm. while also playing one of the three co-op modes that come in the Tome Saga. Yep. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a teach of sorts, just to kind of discuss what comes in both uh, expansions. And then we're going to go into our playthrough and kind of like a first impressions review. Yep. And so if you're interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. But before we begin, if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any mistakes, we can make those corrections there. If we do find them, we'll add them to the description as well. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to get started. So if please direct your attention to the center of the table. We are all set up here for a two-player fully co-op scenario of Architects of the West Kingdom. Uh -huh. We are going to be going up against this overlord. And yes. so this is the overlord right here. I don't think they have a name. Not like Constantine no, in, the, in the last uh, one that we kinda played. Kind of similar, but a little bit worse. Right. Right? Yep. And so the rest of the board is going to look very familiar, uh, with the exception of a couple of overlays, as well as some cards over here, that all have to do with the Age of Artisans expansion. Mm -hmm. And so we're just going to start by talking about what comes with the Tome Saga expansion that's going to be particular to this playthrough, as well as the different aspects of the Age of Artisans expansion. So over here we have the Overlord, and this is the uh, kind of like the third player who we're going to be going up against. Mm -hmm. Their main focus is going to be in wrangling up our workers from around the board and putting them in prison. Yep. And so if you caught our first video on architects and we we're kind of going up against Constantine, his board works very similarly in the sense that he has a deck of cards and these are called scheme cards. Each turn uh, we're going to flip over one of their cards and basically do everything that it says from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. A lot of the cards say a certain spot with a uh, worker next to it and in those cases we're going to place a worker of theirs in that location, so right. the silversmith. Yep. In addition, they also have a demand card deck, which is over here, and we choose one from each level. There are four different levels randomly. And on each demand card, it'll tell you, based off the number of players, how many of a certain type of resource you're required to put on this card before the end of the game. If you're successful, then typically each person will score one additional point towards their score, but if you are not successful, it's minus five points per player. So that is something that we're going to be uh, needing to work on. Mm -hmm. Any of these cards that do not uh, get flipped over during the game are going to be worth five points to each player. And so in order to actually uh, place items on these demand cards, we have this new kind of action, which is a donation action. You'll see two of them in the King's Storehouse, and each player also starts with a uh, an apprentice that is specific to the Tome Saga uh, co-op scenario. And they're double-sided. One side is the uh, clergyman that does one donation per, I guess, cathedral built in the guild hall. Yep. And the other side is the scoundrel that just gets two, gives you two donation actions. And so each player is allowed to choose which side they're going to use for the entire game. But essentially with one donation action, you can donate an item to one of these demand cards, or you can give opponents items, resources, mm -hmm. debt cards, uh, building cards that haven't been built yet. Yep. And so that, that is a way to exchange resources between uh, between players. Again, because we're working together, it's fully cooperative. Mm -hmm. And lastly, some of the Overlord scheme cards will uh, ask them to flip over an event card. And so that is what this new event deck is. Uh, there's typically something bad on the opposite side of this card, right. and the number of these that you play with is dependent on which Overlord difficulty level you're playing with. So today we're going to be playing with the standard difficulty yes. Overlord, because we don't have as much experience with this uh, mode of play, but there is an advanced board where you would only play with four of these. Yes. And so the thing with the event cards is not only are they kind of bad, <laughs> the actual cards are, but it, it is a new way for the game to end. Mm -hmm. So if we flip over the final event card, the game will end immediately right after that, yep. and each player will lose 10 points. So it is bad. It's really bad. Yeah, you don't want the game to end that way because at the end of the game, we're going to count up our score and add them together, yep. and we're trying to meet a certain threshold of points. And if we don't meet the threshold, then we lose. And so same thing with these. Uh, for each card that it was not flipped over during the game, we each get five points. So that is, that is kind of nice. And that is essentially it with the Overlords. So there are two ways that the game can end. Mm -hmm. We already discussed the uh, flipping over of the last event card, but also the standard way that Architects end, which is uh, filling the up hall. the Guild Hall. Yep. And so we add up all of our points yep. and we add them together. Mine and Naveen's combined is going to be our total score. And some of that is going to uh, be based off of some Age of Artisan stuff, which we'll talk about in a second. But in the end, you're also going to calculate the Overlord score. And that's going to be, with a standard difficulty, it's going to be 10 points per 
uh, one of their workers in the guild hall per player. So if there are four of their workers in the guild hall at the end of the game, then it's going to be 40 times two because exactly. there's two players. So we have to hit 80 points minimum to mm -hmm. win. Yep. We'll see how that goes. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then with the Age of Artisans expansion, it brings two main things. Um, but first of all, it does add uh, more apprentice cards and more building cards. And mm -hmm. so we're going to go over whenever we see an expansion card. We'll talk about it during the playthrough. But the major thing that it incorporates are these craft cards. Craft cards are going to be another thing that we can build during the game. Yep. There are two sides to it. The very top here, the yellow part, is uh, if we were to use the craft card as an adornment to a building. And the bottom half are for tools for our apprentices. And so the way that you put these into play is you go to the guild hall, just like when you're building a building or going to the cathedral. But the difference is you have to place one of your workers out on top of one you've already placed. Mm -hmm. So you have to have already built a building or gone to the cathedral, essentially, in order to do this. So if my worker was there and I wanted to uh, build an adornment, then I would go to the guild hall and place my worker on top of another one. That is the maximum height that that can get to. So it's you have to divvy out one worker per additional worker, I guess. Right, and even though it's co-op, I cannot stack on top of Monique and vice versa. That's right. And so if you wanted to build an adornment, that's going to cost five silver, two to the tax stand and three to the bank. Yeah, which is denoted here. Mm -hmm. And so that allows you to take one of these and you have to have um, a building already built, but you would essentially place the adornment behind the building and each building can only have one of these each. They're going to be worth points at the end of the game, and they also get you something immediately. So that would get me one marble. Uh, on the opposite side, we have the tools, and so tools get placed behind an apprentice that's already, you know, amongst your workers. And that basically gives them an additional ability or benefit. But in order to take that benefit, you have to be taking the original benefit mm -hmm. that the apprentice gets you. Right. So for this one, for this combination here, it says that whenever I go to the tax stand, I lose one less virtue and I gain a wood. Yep. And so that is kind of how the tools work. In order to build these tool cards, you can either go to the guild hall and do everything that I just mentioned, or you can go to this uh, second spot in the black market because we have this new overlay card here that allows you to just build a tool. And so that is a way of doing it without having to spend an extra person. Right. But this costs two silver and you lose a virtue. Whereas when you do it the guild hall way, this one does not cost any silver. Tools at the end of the game will score depending on how many you have total. There's a little chart that we have here. One, two, four, six, nine. So if you have a maximum of all five apprentices with a tool each, then you can get nine points max. Mm -hmm. And so the second uh, major thing that this expansion brings are these artisans. And so artisans are basically much bigger or slightly bigger actually versions <laughs> of your workers. Right. And so the benefit that they give you is when placing them out onto the board, they count as two workers. Yep. But if uh, if it's my following turn and this artisan is in the quarry, then it only counts as one. Right. In addition, when placing them out, if you have to lose virtue, you lose one less. And just kind of the last bit that's kind of neat about this expansion is this guild hall overlay has these three spots for refreshing the apprentice market. Yep. And so once a, a meeple is placed in any of those three spots, we remove, I believe, the leftmost yep. of, of both rows. And so that is a nice way to get the apprentices uh, cycling a through. A more movement. It also adds the orange player color, which Naveen is going to be, as yeah. well as two new uh, player boards that mm -hmm. provide um, variable player powers, which we're, I think Naveen's going to use one of them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use well. the orange one, one of the, the ones that come in the expansion. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. So with with that being said, do you want to explain who you're going to be? For sure. Playthrough? Okay, so I am Wallerick. What I have is my artisan. Uh, the benefit is it acts as a third uh, worker. So you know how Monique earlier said when you put on an artisan, it acts as two? For me, it acts as three. Uh, I start with nobody in prison. I have no money to show for myself. I do have a lot of virtue though. I'm at 12. Uh, I do gain a tool, so mm -hmm. I would have one tool, and I take a debt. Ooh, so I am a little indebted. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll do that once we do the cleanup. I'll, I'll get all those things going. And so I'm going to be playing as the purple player, and I'm playing, who is this? This is Friedrich. I start with nobody, nobody in prison. I have four silver. I have uh, seven, seven virtue, virtue yeah. and a stone, <laughs> my one random stone. And uh, the thing with Friedrich is whenever I go up on the cathedral, I do not have to discard a building card. So that's a kind of a nice way if I plan on going up the cathedral mm -hmm. to manage my hand well. And the reason why I'm actually starting at eight is because we have our starting apprentices. And so I drafted the acolyte who gets me an additional virtue to start the game with. And so every time I go up on the cathedral, I gained two clay. So I felt like it was kind of a good synergy with Fred, uh, Friedrich over here. Uh, I drafted the strong man. 
And so during the black market refresh, if my artisan is in jail, I get to pull them back. Yes, and so this is obviously an artisan expansion right. uh, apprentice for yep, that reason. Exactly. They're denoted by this little white meeple uh, in the bottom left corner. Yes. And so with the Tome Saga uh, co-op mode, we also do not draft buildings. Right. So the way that that works now is each player is dealt four cards and we discard one so that we have our stand starting hand of three. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing before we get started is we do need to decide which side of this card to play with. Right. So we can either do the Scoundrel, which again is two donation items whenever, uh, whenever we go to the Black Market, or the clergyman that says whenever we go to the guild hall, it's a one donation item per cathedral level. So I think that's gonna be me, right? I, I think I'm doing the same thing. And the reason is because I'm so virtuous here, uh, I'm never gonna be going to the black market ah. unless I drop super far down, which, I, which can happen. But um, I think I wanna do this. And uh, each one of these cards also has a different symbol at the top left. So you're, you are supposed to deal them out randomly. Yeah, there's three different types of symbols. Uh, for me, just by the way I've drafted, I have one of each symbol. Okay, so we're just gonna get a little cleaned up and then we'll get started. Okay, so we are all set up, we're ready to play. We uh, pre-selected the starting player, that's gonna be me. Then Monique goes next. So I start with three coins, Monique gets four additional mm -hmm. coins. Uh, the Overlord doesn't have to worry about money. Um, <laughs> and I got a starting tool, so I took gain one coin or one silver anytime the strong man gets activated. Mm -hmm. So that'll be during the black market refresh. Uh, yes. And I believe we are set up, we're ready to go. Yes. yes. So as a reminder, the game is going to end uh, once the guild hall is filled up. And so in a three player game that is up to uh, the spot right there, yep. uh, or if we run out of event cards in the overlord's deck, mm -hmm. unfortunately uh, that would be bad. So we're gonna try <laughs> not to do that. And yeah. then we are trying to beat the amount of points that the Overlord earns, and they are going to earn 10 points for every meeple that they have in the guild hall. The end of the game times, times two, because two. there's two of us. Yep. All right, Naveen, take it away. Okay, so uh, might as well put out my artisan. Uh, so let's put them in the mine. And because I did that, my additional ability is it acts as an extra worker, so I get three resources here. So it's gonna be actually four- Four clay. Clay, yes, one plus one per in there so it's going to be a total of four yes because right now your artisan uh counts as an additional one yeah that's my special ability so i'll just keep my stuff here sweet okay so now to me all right i also am going to play my artisan i'm going to place them in the mines so that is going to count as two for me because okay. i'm not uh wall wreck over here no. and so that's going to be three clay total okay one two three all right Perfect, okay. So we are clay rich right now. Okay. <laughs> we are. And so now that it goes to the Overlord, let's see what nasties they're going to do first. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be one worker in town center. Yep. And so then the first thing that happens is at the town center, the Overlord would capture two of our workers each, but if there are none, then they would send all of our workers to prison, which also wouldn't happen because they didn't have any of our workers yet. Pretty early in the game. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then you'd go to this part over here that says each person loses one worker from prison out of the game, Again. which also thankfully yep. doesn't happen yep. because we don't have anybody there. And then we go to this bottom section here, which says you place a worker of theirs at the location with the most total non-overlord workers. And so if there's a tie, there's a whole priority order that you would go down, but there is no tie. It is definitely the mines. Mm. That's where our artisans are. And then they would capture <laughs> oh, a lot of our artisans. Yikes. Technically two workers per player, but those are the only two that were there. Wow. I'm gonna put those workers there. Yeah, that's fine. And that's it. <laughs> the wonderful overlord. Oh, they took us out. Stolen our artisans. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well then, well then it goes back to you. Back to me, wow. I was planning on hitting that spot again. Yeah, that but, backfired. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll go to the forest. Let's go get myself one piece of wood, please. Okay, just one? Just one. We should probably also uh, kind of discuss what we're trying to do here. I'm right? trying to build Actually. my building that's uh, <laughs> two a brick and, and two wood. I would like to go up to the, the uh, cathedral, but I don't have gold yet, so right. that's kind of what I'm trying to do. But I think I want to build this building first, so I need uh, I need wood. Okay, so, hello. <laughs> Let's just put that there. He's just going to wrangle us up again. Hope that, that they don't do that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I need wood. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see. Come on, overlord. Ready? Yep. Okay, priority order. He They, they do wrangle us. Yes, oh, wow. and it looks like we're going to have an event card. So they're going to go here into the forest and take our workers. <laughs> and then we're going to have an event. So we flip over the topmost one and it looks like, oh, nice. <laughs> this says uh, you reveal and resolve the next overlord scheme card. So right. that is one event card out of six. And here we go. So they are going to go to the forest 
is over here. And then all of our workers will go to prison. All right. Well then, let's just hope that we don't get a, a you know, a black market reset soon. And also, just keep in mind, uh, we can now bail each other's workers out of prison. That's right. So that's okay. And they also put a worker in the quarry. They are everywhere. They everywhere. are everywhere. And technically, for both of these locations, we're supposed to do what it says here and here. But since we don't have any workers on the board, then we go ahead and skip that. And <laughs> <laughs> that's it for the Overlord's yeah. turn. Uh, back to you, Naveen. Yeah, the Overlord's doing very well when they don't have to take any action. So I will <laughs> go to the forest okay. to get myself another piece of wood, please. All right. There you go. Thank you. Okay, well, at least I think I can build my building. Okay, good. So, which is good, because in order to do any of this stuff, we need to have building out. Yep. So I'm going to go to the guild hall. I'm going to place the first worker in the guild hall, and I'm going to build the carpenter's hut. So it doesn't have any of these symbol requirements, which is good, but it does require three clay, one wood, and one stone. So this is going to get me five points at the end of the game, and it's also one point per um, carpenter symbol, which is which I only have one of with my nice. clergyman. Yep. So that's my one building, and I believe that's it. And so now I have enough money, Naveen. If I if we want to, I could get an ador adornment. So yeah, I can get you one gold, or that I could go up the cathedral. So we're working because we also have to keep in mind that there is this demand card out that requires six clay. Yeah. So we need to get on that. Mm -hmm. So now it is back to the overlord. Uh, I can't believe it's his turn again. Do not. Well, he can't hurt me really. Okay, the so workshop. they go to the workshop, and they're technically supposed to wrangle up people, but there's nobody. This symbol here means that we reveal the next demand card. Okay. So it's going to be building cards. Building cards. Ooh. And to be clear, these are non-built buildings, by the way. So mm -hmm. in a two-player game, we need to turn in four. Four of them, huh? So we need to start donating. Okay. They also put in two coins into the uh, the tax stand. That's nice. And. And you also add the top of the Future Scheme card deck on top of the discard, so we can actually see it. And so these uh, are more advanced versions of those. Yeah, we're already getting our butts kicked. Yeah. <laughs> these are going to kick us even harder. Okay. And this looks like uh, one player has to discard an apprentice. Ooh, that's terrible. <sighs> oh my Ooh, gosh. Wow. That's miserable. I mean, the good news is players can choose who. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. anyway, that is the Overlord. <laughs> I don't want to think about the Overlord again until yeah. it comes back. So, Naveen, what would you like to do? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's see. You know, I'm going to go back to the mines. I was really hoping to get gold in the future, but uh, right now I'm just going to get more clay. Uh, so I get two clay. Two one clay. for the worker plus the one for being there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to uh, build an adornment. Okay, yeah. I'm going to build that one. This one over here? Yes. Okay. So I have to put a person here on top of my previously placed one. And um, it's going to cost me five silver. Yep. Two of which go into the tax stand. Maybe I should go take the tax stand and I rob it. I think you it. should, because uh, they're going to to put all the money back. Yeah. And then three goes into the supply. And then I can go ahead and place this behind my carpenter's hut. It's now been adorned by yes. this craft <laughs> card. And with that... Uh, yeah, two gold. Two gold. And it's going to be one point at the end of the game. There was also this one that's that's worth a little bit more points, but only one gold. Yeah. I figured the additional gold is probably worth it. I think that additional gold will turn out to be more worth more than two points. So mm -hmm. we can refresh. Yep. And this. Okay. Oh, interesting. Looks like if you build this as an adornment, you get to discard all eight of these and then uh, gain an apprentice. So that's an interesting one. Yeah. All right. So back to the overlord already. Oh. Ah, oh, here we go. Chance. Silversmith. Okay. So they're going to go there. They pick up people there, but there's nobody there. Uh, and no then everybody gains, we, we either gain a debt or we lose two silver. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to rob the tax stand, so I'll just lose two silver. Okay. Should uh, I gain a debt? It's minus two points. Flipping a debt is, is tough, <laughs> but uh, maybe. Or I mean, I do have, okay, I'll just lose two silver. Okay. Okay. Let's just do that. There sure. we go. And then we have to reveal the next one and resolve that as well. So they so get two turns. <laughs> double whammy. Yes. Uh, okay. So now they go to the guardhouse. <laughs> okay. All right. So they go to the guardhouse. Nobody's there. Good. So then that's that. They release their own people from prison, which... Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen either. And then they have to pay to the tax stand. Naveen, that's good for you. That's good for me, yes. And then they go to the mines. Oh my And gosh. they steal just Naveen. Oh my gosh. Right there. It's so hard to, to ramp up. Yes, this is. Uh, it is hard to ramp up with uh, with the Overlord. The Overlord I'm trying to get gold, tough. and it, it just keeps <laughs> taking me down. All right, well, it's back to you. I think you just have to not kind of depend on having a lot of workers in one place. Lose virtue, Naveen, so you can go to the black market. Yeah, Do bad things. Yeah, I got to. So, all right, we're going to go to the tax stand. So because I'm going to go here, 
I lose two virtue, one, two. Uh, and then I get to rob this place of all its money. Perfect. Oh, now you're close, but you're not quite there to being able to go to the black market. That's okay. Yeah. I, that's okay right now. I'm just trying to survive. Okay, so that's my turn. All right, so back to me. I think I am going to go up the cathedral now that I have uh, the gold. gold. And yep. because I am Friedrich, I don't need to discard a building card. It's perfect. So let's do that. So you do have to put a worker out in the guild hall. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and place my worker right there. Then I pay my gold. Yep. And it's going to move me up here in the cathedral. Nice. And I don't have to discard a card, but I do get to flip this over. Good luck. Oh, thank you. One Ooh, virtue and one two virtue. stone. Two stone. So there you slightly go. slightly more virtuous, but now I have some resources, which I think is the important part. Yeah, that's really good. For me. And uh, in addition, I went to, to build the cathedral, yep. so my acolyte gets me two clay. Nice. So here we go with that. And I gain one donation action uh, per level I am in the cathedral, which is just one. Right. But uh, now every time I go to the guild hall, I get that as a bonus, mm -hmm. which makes me think that I should probably build a tool in the future mm -hmm. because I'm probably going to try to tap these. Yeah. So uh, should I donate one of my clay then? Well, do you, need, do you need clay for... Uh... I could get away with just using one. Gotcha. So I'll do it, right? Okay, sure. Yep. Okay, because we have to have six of them. It's a lot. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. <laughs> Five more. All right, that's that's me. I believe that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the Overlord. Oh boy. Here we go. All right, we have the tax oh, stand. Oh, good. Good. Fantastic. So they're gonna go to the tax stand and they don't wrangle anybody. It says if there are four or more coins then everybody has to lose a virtue and you, you discard all the money, but you cleared it out. I good did. timing. Yep. And then they go to the silversmith, which is here. Uh, they're supposed to take people, but they can't. So then Naveen goes to prison. Do. Okay, while I have somebody in the forest, I'm gonna go make this sweet and get uh, two. Wow, clay. look at you, you did it. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> you have double, um, double uh, workers got in there something, finally. for once. Yes. Awesome. All right, so back to me. I need just one wood. <laughs> oh, the wood I just got. Yeah. Maybe I should just go to the black market. You would have to pay, which you don't. I don't uh, have enough money to do that. Money. All right, well, I guess I'm going to the forest. Yeah, yeah. I really just need the one wood. So there's that. And then back to the overlord. <laughs> Oh man. Here we go. We have the guild hall. Okay. So one person to into the guild hall. So this is now 10 points. All right. So... Uh, 20 points actually is our minimum threshold for winning the game. Right. And then he's going to go to the king's storehouse, which is right there. And nobody to capture. So we do need to not forget uh, because they covered up the spot, these two go out. Ah, uh, oh yes. We do yes. a an apprentice, uh, apprentice market, I guess, refresh, uh -huh. move those down. And so now we have the Trader and another Acolyte. Let's see, the only Age of Artisan expansion cards here are the Antagonist, which is this awesome person right here, which lets you, uh, whenever you put a worker on the town center, that worker is, is essentially one additional worker. Right, yeah, so if you have two out there and mm -hmm. you have that, then you have three technically. And then this Trader, uh, when you go to the King's Storehouse, you can turn in two wood for Ooh. one gold. Oh, that's nice. I kind of like that right there. One, yeah. Okay, I like uh, that person right there. So, the antagonist? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna I'm, hire? Yeah, I'm gonna hire. So okay. I'll go one there. So two into the tax stand. Yep. Uh, two to the bank. Okay. And then I will hire the antagonist. <laughs> so this one is that one we spoke about earlier. They are gonna come and do my employment. That's pretty nice. So that's specifically when you go to the town center. The town so my center. next goal is to go to the town center. That's awesome. Yeah. Because you can pick up. Uh, the them, overlords yeah. workers, and that's two coins per worker. He's sent to prison. All right. So we have the conspirator. That is a uh, base game card. All right, so back to me. It is so expensive to go up the cathedral. It is. I need three. Oh no, any combination. Any combination, yeah, of oh. wood and stone. I mean, now's the time in the forest. Yeah, before you, know you what? get wrangled up. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the forest and yeah. just get two wood. I might get wrangled up, but oh well. <laughs> yeah. Now I can go up the cathedral. Right. Uh, and so I can give you gold. Yeah. When I take that action, I give you, I can give you gold and another clay over there. Let's right? do it, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go to the Overlord first. <laughs> and see, this is the last Overlord card. Oh. Okay, so we have the Mines. Where's the Mines? There, ooh, that's where I'm gonna wrangle them. Very good. That's for sure. And then they go to the last spot. They're always gonna go to this third spot here in the right. Black Market. If it's a four to six player game, then people lose virtue, but <laughs> yeah. because it's not, we, we can kind of dodge that. Totally. And that's it, that was a great turn. Thank you, Overlord. Yeah, that was the best turn so <laughs> yeah. far of the Overlord. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, when it comes back to Overlord, we're going to have to reshuffle that deck. And there is that card that makes us lose an apprentice. Yes. All right. So I will go to that town center with my newly hired person. So that's I'm going to go there. 
Uh, so it's one plus my uh, antagonist, so technically two workers. Yep. So for the first one, I pay to the tax stand, and I'm going to wrangle up here at nice. the mine. Uh, and then for the second one, which will get paid to the bank, where do you, where should I wrangle? Do you want me to wrangle so Silversmith? Or you can, you're, allow, you're allowed to either wrangle up another one of theirs, or you can wrangle up your own. But I'm <sighs> assuming you wouldn't want to take your own, right? I don't want to. I'd, I'd like to just have all of them and then toss them all in jail. Because right. if we have a black market refresh, I'd rather they have to have all you know the most so that they take the debt. Then uh, I would take say the take them from the forest because okay. it's actually two workers per player per worker they have in there. So if I were to put another mm. worker in there, yep. then they would be able to take all you got it. All right. three. I'll take it. Yep. Perfect. Because okay, cool. it's two, you know, doesn't really matter. So that's yeah. going to be 10 coins for you, right? Uh, yes, it'll be 10, yeah. That is nice. Yeah. Okay, so I think the solution here for me right now is to go up on the cathedral. Sure. I'm going to place a worker into the guild hall. So, so the next row. No, I think it's... Oh, yeah, here. there's three. Yeah, there's four. It's technically, yeah. it's technically a three-player game. Right. Uh, so I'm going to put that worker there, and then I have to pay a combination of four, four resources between wood and stone. Let's go with three wood and one stone, since right now it's easier for me to gain wood. Sure. Right? Yep. And then I don't have to discard a card. I will go up like that. I'm going to draw this card. Oh, I gained virtue. a building card. And a virtue. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh, now I can't go to the black market. <laughs> no. That's kind of bad. You always gain a virtue by doing this, by the way. Yes, that's yep. true. I should have thought about yeah, that. I should have okay. gone to the black market sooner. That's what... Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, uh, and then because I went to the guild hall, I did a cathedral action, so I get two clay mm -hmm. from my acolyte. I really should put a tool on my acolyte. Yeah, that'd uh, be good. And now I can do two donation actions because I'm on level two of the cathedral. So my first one is going to be giving you this gold. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. And for my second one, I'm going to donate another clay. So now we have two towards that six. <sighs> do you think we can do this? No, I don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I have I have a debt of two, <laughs> and I have one point for my tool. <laughs> you need to start putting people in the guardhouse. Right? You, want, you want me to put people in the guardhouse? I well, think I was so. thinking about uh, getting getting this guy tossed in the slammer. <laughs> so let's do it. So I will go. Well, no, the overlord goes. Oh yes. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, yes, and they're so, gonna shuffle. Would you care to shuffle sure. their scheme deck? Their scheme. Ah. I feel like they How take way you? more actions than I get one wood. Oh uh, yeah. And then they take like boom, 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 boom. Maybe, maybe so. Let's see what we're gonna do. What? Do priority we have? priority order. order. Oh, okay. No. So they're going to definitely go to the mines, the forest, because they're supposed to go to the, the location that has the most of our workers. Yes, forest. that's right. They go there and then they're going to take two workers per player. <laughs> <laughs> so everything we just worked towards. Yep. Wiped. That's that. Uh, and then they flip over an event card. Here we go. And it looks like everybody either takes a debt or loses two coins. I cannot I'm, lose I'm going to lose coins. two coins because I'm definitely throwing him in Slammer, so that okay. goes fine. So you take a debt? I take a debt, yeah. Oh, so now we both have a wow. debt. Wow. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. So <sighs> back to you. What were you going to do, Naveen? All right. Well, now I will go to the guardhouse. I'm going to spend my one action to throw him in jail, okay. getting me 10 bucks. So it's two times five. So nice. I get 10 silver, and now they are the leading uh, prisoner. So that's a lot that's of money. That's true. So, Four, which five. means we can leave them there. Six, seven, eight, and yep. Now, they may take a guardhouse action, though. So, that's true. You know, that, that card might come. We don't know. But This would be a really good time to do a black market reset. It, yeah. And convert. I could go to the black market. Oh, yeah. You could totally. That's what I could really yeah. do. But Let's you are, you cannot go to the black market. You are I too virtuous. I can't you... yet. And so if I want to do that, I got to go to the tax stand. Okay. So I'm going to the tax stand. I lose two virtue, but I get three coins. So now I at least have money to go to the black market right. and try to speed up the black market reset process. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go, Overlord. Guardhouse. Guardhouse. Speaking of, uh -oh. they're going to release all their, their workers. All my work. I mean, I got 10 bucks out of it, I guess. So they go here. They capture you, just, and then <laughs> they captured me from the guardhouse. Yeah, they bring all I can't their believe it. Ugh. back home. So that yeah. was a flop. And then they go to the mines, and they don't take anybody there. So then they release all of us back to the guardhouse. This would be a good time to take our people back because yeah. we get our, at least our artisan back. Yes. Yeah. All right. So it goes back to you. You know what? Uh, having the artisan in play is is going to be better. So I think I'm going to go to the guardhouse and just okay. get all my people out, uh, unfortunately. So 
I come back. You get everybody back. Everybody back, including my artisan. Nice. Because I, I can't just sit around waiting for this black market reset to happen. All right, back to me. Uh, let's kind of, what are you working on? Just okay. let me know. Okay, so I have three building cards. My plan is, now that you gave me the gold, yes. I plan on going up the cathedral. But because I go up the cathedral and I'm not Frederick, I have to lose a card from my hand. Yes, So I would only have two cards, so... Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. definitely keep. I'm gonna ditch the card that requires me to have gold because how else am I gonna get gold? Yes. Um, so then I'm gonna build something afterwards. I'm gonna try mm -hmm. to build something and then adorn it. Do you need anything from me? I guess is my question. Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yes. I could. I could take right. everything, but you know. Well, I think because I'm the only one who has kind of a, a clay making machine, mm -hmm. uh, I am probably just gonna go to the cathedral as much as I can and try to donate to the demand cards. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think then, in order to get the marble that I need for this next level, I gotta go to the tax stand. Okay. So let's go to this tax. Or sorry, not the, the tax stand. Market. The black market. Yeah. So I lose one virtue. Oh, and I have to do. pay a coin into the supply, and then I gain one stone and one marble. Can you pass me a marble, please? Yes. So now I have two stone. Okay. So we have some stuff. And then this flips over, right? Or no, it's only no, during the black market the refresh. Black, yes, yeah, that's black right. Market reset. Okay. So overlord time. We have the forest. Okay. Oh, this is good. So forest. they go to the forest. No There's wrangle. Nobody to wrangle. They and don't they... have any of our workers, so nobody goes to prison, and then they go to the quarry. And then same thing. So where is the quarry? Oh, right there. there. Yep. yep, same thing. Perfect. Perfect. Our one Perfect. time the Overlord didn't do anything. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, back to you. All right, so now I think I will go up the cathedral. So I'm going to put out my worker in the guild hall. Mm -hmm. And who? Oh, so I have to discard gold. Thank you for that gold. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to discard this card out of the game. Uh, for the cathedral? For the cathedral, yeah, to represent going up. So here we go. We're on the board now. All right. Perfect. And because I have the clergyman, I can donate. Would uh, you like to see your... Oh yeah, bonus let's first? do that first. Yeah, for sure. It is. Oh, two Ooh, wood. Two wood. And a virtue. And a virtue. So I'm back. Oh, yeah. So you're back. <laughs> yeah. Back up there. You need to lose some virtue. Uh, too good. I know. <laughs> but if I make it to the to the max here, I can get, I can discard this uh, debt. Yeah, I, I have come to terms with that. With fact. Your debt. It's gonna be minus two points. Well, I uh, think. Instead of it being minus four, hopefully yes. maybe it could just be minus two. It's true. Uh, so now I, I do have this uh, this over here. So mm -hmm. the clergyman, I will donate this here. Oh, nice. One go. clay to that. Okay. Yeah, since I'm abundant in clay. So this just needs three more, mm -hmm. which I can probably do on my turn. Right. And then after that, it's going to be donating uh, building cards. Building cards, yeah. So that's it for you? Yeah, that's it. All right. So I think I will probably do the same. I'm going to go to the guild hall. Okay. Well, uh, maybe I should... It seems like a waste. If I know I'm going to tap these two, I should build a tool. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, how about this? On my next turn, I'll go to the town center. And then because I'll have one for my one, mm -hmm. two plus the person I put there, that's three. And I can just wrangle him up a bunch oh. and then toss him into jail okay, on my next turn. So save that, like, mm -hmm. you know. All right, I'm going to go to the guild hall okay. and I'm going to build a tool. So I have to place this on top of one of my other workers. And I'm going to take this tool. It's not going to cost me any money because right. tools only cost money if you go to the black market. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and attach it to this clergyman. And so whenever I take uh, the guild hall action, which is what you did, I could take a worker back from prison, which is nice because my artisan is always going to be in there, basically. So take the artisan back, right? Well, since I, I went to the guild hall, I also get one donation per level of the cathedral that I'm at. And so I am at level two, so I might as well donate both of my clay now. Nice. Two. So I, that just needs one last one. One more. I, I can try to do that um, at some point. Well, I'm going to gain uh, more clay when I oh, yeah. go up the cathedral. So it can be either we'll one see. of us. Yeah. And then I take a person back from prison, so I'm going to take my artist yes, back. Yes, take that one yes. back for and sure. Can you go ahead and refill that? Yeah, okay. There and we that's go. me. Perfect. My artisan. That's what we've that, been missing. That's nice, yeah. The artisan gets us like a lot of stuff at once. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to make that work for us. All right, overlord time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So they go tax to the tax stand. stand. Okay. So there is not a whole lot in the tax stand at all. That's good. Nothing happens. And then the silversmith, which is right there. Oh, that's good. This is great because they're not wrangling anybody and they're accumulating more of their own people in areas right. so we can wrangle them. All right. Yeah. Do you, so do you want me to do that plan where I go wrangle them? It, the, the problem is I'm the one that gets most of the money, but... Uh, you can give me money, but although it's a... It's, it's, it's like, like one, one coin per, per action. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to the workshop. And uh, I'm not going to hire this one, so I'm going to bypass one, two, and then go to that one. So okay. it's going to cost two to the tax stand, 
two out. Yep. And then I have to put a coin on the ones I, I'm skipping over. Mm -hmm. But I'm taking this acolyte right here. So this acolyte right away gets me a virtue. And so this bottom portion here is anytime I go up on the cathedral, I gain a card. Yep. So going up on a cathedral costs me a card, but then I just get it right back, which mm -hmm. is great because I don't have the benefit like you do. Yes. So I'll put that Done. there. Yeah, that's me. All right, so this goes down. And then now we have the gatekeeper. All yeah. right, so during black market reset, you get two uh, workers back. Okay, so I think that I need to go to the town center uh, so I can wrangle up some of some of their people and I can turn them in for money. Yeah, the silversmith has three of them there, so that's pretty good. I'll just do one location. Yeah. So let's go here and then... Definitely that silversmith, right? Yeah, we'll take everybody from the silversmith. I have to pay a coin to the tax stand right. to do this. Which is so good. We can that. rob it. You can rob so, the tax stand. I don't want to lose too much uh, virtue, yes. though. That is my one issue right now. Yeah. Okay, so back to the Overlord, and let's see. Be merciful, Overlord. The Guild Hall. Anybody there? They didn't know they just got... Oh, okay. <laughs> is anybody oh, yeah, there? yeah, 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 we're all there. So that uh, is another... 20 points uh, we have to 10 deal with. points, yeah. It's going to be 40 points minimum yes. right now at the threshold. And then at the King's Storehouse. So nothing happens right now, but they are very close to taking back all of their workers. If I want <sighs> money for these people, you need to, I need to go you need to, jail them to the guardhouse. Right away. All right. Back to you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the workshop. Okay. And I'm going to get... Uh, building cards? Some building cards. Yeah. So, so I get one plus one for every two that's out there. So you so get two. You get two. Oh. <laughs> A grand total of two. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is what it is. I will do that. You're going to do it? Yeah. One, two. I need, some, I need some cards to help me build some stuff. Are you saving your artisan just for... The future? Yeah, I am okay. actually, yeah. All right, so back to me. And I think that it's pretty obvious I have to go and turn in uh, this Overlord's workers for some sweet silver. Cash. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go to the guardhouse and I'm going to put all of these three in here. So I get six silver total. So here's four. Let me get you two more. Thank you. And that's all I can do because I only have uh, one worker in there. So if you one do action. go to the workshop, uh, you can get a discount by buying one of those people. So that's, that's kind of nice. That if, is nice. If you're going to go there. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think They're I should. turning the wood in for gold is kind of nice, and then this black market makes it cheaper. Yeah, I really like this illusionist. Maybe I will. Yep. So back to the overlord. Here we go. Do nothing. The workshop. workshop. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be you. That's me. So they wrangle up for all three. Dang it. Because they were already there. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, then they flip over the third demand card. Oh no. So stone. Stone. They want five stone. They do. They want five stone. All right. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should, maybe we should have just, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So the higher you go up on the dem demand cards, the more points you earn and the less points you lose. So it's okay to kind of forgo some yeah, of the later, later ones, on, yeah. I guess. They also put in two coins yes. to protect them. Thank you. And, and that's we... a future scheme card. Yeah, uh, uh oh, here we go. our fate in the future. Oh, oh, it's another, oh, it's a mines tax stand. So it's just another one of those. Okay, and another one of those results of the future. These are terrible. Yeah, they are pretty bad. Well, we still, uh, we we're have still another two turns. So yeah. <laughs> we're still alive. <laughs> yep, back to you. All right, I think it's time to build a building. So I will go to the guild hall. And now. Okay, so at the end of your turn, we are going to refresh. No, my illusionist. Are you sure you want to do that now? Oh, uh, okay, fine, fine. fine, fine. <laughs> Because you're going to do that? You want the illusionist huh? specifically or the trader we, we're going to take? I like the illusionist oh, you so want that the I can illusionist. go to the black market and not lose any virtue. All right, I'm going to send my artist into the quarry. So because of my special power, it's not just two. It's actually worth three. So I get three stones. Nice. Which is good because we're going to need stone over there. Yeah, can you work on the stone? Uh, I yeah. have the clay. And I'll try to contribute some uh, building one, cards. One of my buildings that I really want costs stone, but maybe I can work it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, that's it? Mm, that, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to go and uh, and fulfill my promise. <laughs> yeah, I know. Workshop. If you did something else, I'd be like, what? <laughs> no, I'm going to the workshop. I have to spend two money to the tax stand. We really need to uh, clear out the tax stand. Yeah. And two to the supply. Two to supply. Yes. But you get one. And I get two. one back because I'm taking this illusionist. So this is cool. So right away you lose a virtue. I do. That's oh, okay. that wasn't that's that cool. okay. But now whenever I go to the black market, I lose one less virtue. So Meaning that's... you don't lose any virtue because they all are only one one virtue. Yes. That's great. That's true. That is great. I don't lose virtue. You don't lose virtue at all. I'm an illusionist. It's like I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right. That's right. So that's me. Oh, let's roll this movie down. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. We have the the pickpocket. It's another base game one. That's uh, You get a gold whenever you go to the tax stand. Ooh. That's not that's, bad either. That's really nice, yeah. Okay, here we go, Overlord. 
What do we have? Oh, okay. The workshop. Do, 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 do. Oh, they don't have any people. They take all their people back. They get to take everybody back with the exception of the ones in the guild hall and the ones in the black market. So that means they Even get prison. the ones in prison Wow. and everywhere else, essentially. That's terrible. That means we can't go wrangle them up anymore for a can't. lucrative amount. Yeah. Oh, you, you took the one from the black market? I did, yeah. <laughs> we just talked about what it. What did we just talk about? I wasn't reading. Okay. Okay, so everybody's back. And then now they go to the workshop and somebody loses an apprentice. Well, so this is the card that I've been dreading. Okay, I'll lose the apprentice. This strong man that I first drafted, even before the game started, it's not happening. Yeah, it's just not happening. It, it's All only right. during black market refresh. Uh, yeah, I don't lose, lose the tool. The strong man. I don't lose the tool, which is good. So that goes out. Yeah, you can relocate the tool, and this is the only time you can relocate a tool, by the way. If, so uh, I'm gonna put it under this clergyman. I mean, every time I, I take a guild hall action, which I plan on doing, I get a coin. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Okay, two yeah. coins into the tax stand. Oh, that's nice. And one future scheme card into the discard. Oh so man. So it's another one of those priority order. Uh, ugh, this is bad. <laughs> we need to finish the game. This is a race. <laughs> we get a race. Okay, back to you. We gotta, we gotta end the game as quickly as possible. That's what this means. So are you okay with me now going to the guild hall to build yes. a building that we'll Do have it. to discard? Well, yeah, I took the illusion list, so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you are, you're all good. I should go to the tax stand is wow. what should happen next. We're gonna lose all that money. You, why can't you go to the tax stand? Because if I do, I won't be able to build a cathedral. Ah, <laughs> you need to become virtuous, Monique. You should build a cathedral first. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your okay, turn. Okay, I think I will uh, contribute to the cathedral right now. So I'm going to go up here. It's going to cost me... Well, you have to put a person yes. in the guild hall first. Okay, that's right. So it's going to go there so we can discard these two people. Yeah, at the end of your turn. Okay, let's not forget. Okay. And then uh, I have to discard a card. I think I will get rid of... Get rid of this card over here. This one's out. And okay. then uh, it's going to cost me four resources. So I'm going to go one stone and three wood. Yes. One stone and three wood? One stone and three wood. All right. Let's go out. Uh, and because I did that... You get to flip this. We do get to flip that. Come on, something good. Two virtue. Two virtue, hey. hey. You wanted that. You're Oh, that's great. I'm close. So if I hit another virtue, I get to discard this uh, debt. That's right. So then because I I'm, I went to the guild hall, yep. I can do a trade. So do you want me to wrap up this... Uh, if you, yeah, it's, you have well, a lot I, I get I get two of them, right? Because I'm on two on the cathedral now. So yes. I can do... You can do... One... And then I could technically put a card down here, or I can uh, do a stone. Which one would you prefer? I think the card is going to be harder. Card is going to be harder? To do. So do the card or don't yes. do the card? Yes, if you can do the card, that would be great. Let's do it. So I'll put a card here, right down on there. So we have one card towards that. And Perfect. then, because I uh, attach this tool, I get, a, I get a silver. Yay, and then now we do this. Yes, those go out. So unfortunately, this money goes out as well. So yeah. let's get discarded no and move these down. Okay, we're going. We have the Debt Collector Ooh. and a, the Enforcer. This is an Age of Artisans Apprentice. When you place workers in prison, you get a virtue. Yeah, it's that, wow. Hey, that's cool. Then, so this is done, by the way. We, we completed that. Yeah, we did. We that's completed good. that card. That's nice. So I'm going to go up the cathedral then. Okay. So that I can go Do to the stuff. tax stand, hopefully. So I'm going to put a worker in the guild hall. Oops. Okay. Just like that. And so I'm you don't go, have to discard a card. I don't have to discard a card. I go up there. I spend my marble. I'm going to flip the last card. Oh, wow. Money three, for you. That's perfect. Three silver and I go up a virtue, please. Thank you. Yeah, that is great. Since I went to the cathedral, I get two clay. Nice. And then because I went to the guild hall, I... You have three... Oh, I get to take a person back. You get a prison. person back. Nice. That's cool. And then I get, uh, yeah, three donation actions. So then I'm going to donate two cards. Two cards. And so we just need one card left for this. And I have... Uh, one more donation action, right? Yes. So I'll just... Oh, I need this stone. You need the stone, yeah. It's okay. Do you have your artisan? You still have your artisan, so if you go to the quarry... That's true. You can get... I'll donate a stone. Yeah. There. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right, then. Back to the Overlord. So we really want the Overlord to not take too many more actions. Yes. So They go to the silversmith. silversmith. Fantastic. That means I can go to the, the, the tax stand. Yes. Still. They put all of your workers into prison. And then everybody either gains a debt or loses two coins. Take I'm gonna this, take the money. Coins. Go ahead, take it. There you go. And then they flip over and resolve the next card. And it's the town center. Mm. So they take these two. Oh no. And then everybody 
has to lose a worker <laughs> forever in prison. Uh, uh, that card was coming. It right? was coming. So here's one and one. They can just go out. Yeah, out. just go out of the game. Dang. That's terrible. Ugh. That was terrible, it's, it's, terrible. It's not too bad, though. I've never felt well, like, oh, no, I have no workers. So Yeah. It, you know what? That's kind of nice for me, honestly, because it puts me one less than the three. That's true. When we have the To blood get a, a lost virtue. And this is seven points right here. I'd like to just kind of camp the seven points. All right. And then they're going to place another worker <laughs> in the location with the most uh, people of ours. It's either tax stand or the guardhouse. And by priority order, it is the... Guardhouse. Yeah, tax stand's not even an option. Yes, that's good. That's good, because I want that money. <laughs> so they go here and they take us, which is not as good. And that's it. That's it for the Overlord. Back to you, Naveen. We need to rush the game. You know what? That is the name of the game. You know what's interesting? I can afford to take the debt every single time. If I cruise here, I can just bing, 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 and I can be the shield that takes all debts. And then I, I, like can just, I can just discard them and maintain the seven, just, just going up virtue. That is true. Do we like it? <laughs> all right so do you want me to do the the reset I, I can go here back to the guild hall yeah and that also uh speeds up the game it does yeah we definitely should be speeding up the game yeah because uh, the longer you wait the worse the overlord gets so i will go to the guild hall okay so we're gonna have a reset after uh this okay round, right perfect so i'm going to build the we're gonna build a parish here so this is a uh this is a uh expansion card nice by the way. expansion building it's gonna cost me so you just have to have um the yellow symbol which i do yeah okay perfect yeah so yeah i, I totally forget, by the way when i when i had to discard my worker yeah uh, I, I totally wasn't paying attention to that but it worked out this way so <laughs> okay. there's two so one two, two. Clay and two wood and two wood perfect okay so then uh, right away i get virtue so bing so you discard a discard debt, a debt. Yes. Because I'm going to trigger myself getting the debt, so... The other thing is, when we do donation actions, we can donate debt. Ah, you so can, I can hand me your debt. You. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. I'll take it. And you can discard it for me. And then now I gain one card per uh, level, so I'm going to gain two cards uh, for being there. Yeah, so this goes here, and it's worth four points. That's nice. I take two cards. Oh, and you know, I realized when I went up this cathedral on the last turn uh -huh. uh, i had this acolyte so i was supposed to gain a card for uh for doing the uh, cathedral action oh okay i'm supposed to have an extra card so because of this one right here i can do one donation action per level i'm here so i can donate the two stone i i need it but i'm willing to get get rid of it um well we have some time i guess for that do you want to just donate the last building card yeah consider one stone sure okay <laughs> okay yeah okay why not let's right. do it so okay i will donate one stone okay and a building card what oh i'm i'm de <laughs> okay a dungeon i'm definitely not going to be building this it oh. costs four stone two gold and two wow. it's worth a lot of points we also don't want a dungeon in our yes. city by the way so that's done right <laughs> all four of those are done yes these two are done so that's going to be one Perfect. plus two points three points each at the end of the game just for these which is doesn't sound like a whole lot but it's still something it's something yeah and then uh i get a coin Perfect. I like that right there. That coin right there. It's good, <laughs> good on the tool, guild level. Tool placement. It, yeah, it is. All right, back to me. Yes. So we're uh, doing stuff. Maybe I should go to the tax stand. Take it now. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go to the tax stand. It's going to cost me two virtue, but I get all this mo money. Yes. Mula. Mula. I want to say mula, but I got caught and just said <laughs> moani instead. So that's a lot. I don't even know how much silver this is, but I guess who cares, right? Who Let's cares? Just pile it up right there. Okay, Overlord time. This is the last card in their deck, no! Okay, they go to the mines. Nobody's there, so then all of these people... Oh, no, wait! We were supposed to do a black market reset. We were supposed to do a black market reset. Before I did my turn, okay. so knowing that, let's just do the reset real quick. All these guys are supposed to go in there, into the prison, and uh, we flip this over. Yep. So that it is a different Ooh, offering now. look at the double oh, gold. Oh, two money. gold, that's great. And then... Anybody who has three or more loses a virtue, which is nobody. Whoever has the most, which is Naveen and I. Mm. We tied. We both get a debt. So that is two debt for me now, Naveen. Send them to me. <laughs> Donate your debt to me. I will try. Uh, I will try to be virtuous. And that's it. Uh -huh. Okay, so now, fast forward back to the Overlord's turn. They placed a worker in the mines, and then all of these people are going to go into prison. Uh, they also fill up this last spot here in the oh black market. 
and nothing else happens because it is a two-player game. Okay, back brutal. to you. Okay, I, I will go to the guild. So this is still a guild hall action, right? So I still get all these benefits here? What are you going to do? I'm going to adorn. Yes, yeah, so you have to go okay. to the guild hall. So I go to the guild hall. Uh -huh. I'm just going to stack on top of my first person. Okay, and then you have to play a five coins. Yeah. It's going to be uh, two to the tax stand and three to the bank. Two to the tax stand, three to the bank. I'm now, I'm, now I'm poor. <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, you're going to gain points for this. I am going to gain points. So which adornment would you like to buy? So I, even though I like the idea of getting two marble, this one's three points versus the one point. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really only need one marble because the card that I that requires another marble requires a assistant who I don't own. Okay. Like I don't have that type of. So I'm going to take this one. So it's going to be worth three points at the end of the game. I'm going to adorn the one building that I've constructed. Fantastic. That's going to be there. Some point and there. And I get a marble. Perfect. And because I did all that stuff, because I went to the guild hall, yep. I can do the donation thing. Yep, uh, and you get a coin. I do gain a coin, so I'll take the coin and then... Uh, you can do two, two donations. Do you... Can you donate to me one clay? One clay? Yeah, here's one clay. I need a clay and a stone if you're willing to do that, and then I can build this building. Yeah, here's, here's the clay and the stone. Perfect. Yeah. So you donated to me. To you. <laughs> Instead of the demand card. This is co-op. That's, that's co-op. This is co-op. So uh, go ahead and refill that. That's perfect. Whatever you need, you do. So I'm going to I'm gonna go to the black market then, and I'm going to gain um, two golds. So if you need a gold, I can give that to you. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's do that. It's my turn now, right? Uh -huh. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the black market here. I have to pay a coin. But because of my illusionist, I don't lose a virtue. So I might as well, uh, you know, like really tap nice. into that. I gain two gold. You gain two gold. Yeah, perfect. Yes. So I will be able to build this building on my next turn. Nice. Good, and good, good. And doing so will allow me to give you the gold because I, yeah, I have some I, I have one building that requires one marble and one gold it's only worth four points but uh it gets me resources back i'm also going to give you my debt at that time okay yeah <laughs> well so from now on whenever we go up the cathedral we're only going to be gaining virtue which is great because i just want to tap one virtue every time i go up so i can get yes. rid of the debts so i can only do one at a time anyway well before we get into any of that it is the Overlord's turn. Would you care to shuffle this? I trust you. Go ahead and. Terrible I don't want to touch it. <laughs> heck? <laughs> I don't want to touch it. All right. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. The town center. So they go here. Uh, everybody loses a person in prison. Okay. So this person, these two go out of the, out game, of the game forever. And then uh, they go to this location and take all of our people. So we just need 40 points total as of right now. As of right now, we just need 40 points total. Yes, 20 points each. So it, that's why it really we really want to speed up the game. And even though the tax stand is not part of the priority list, we assume that they can still steal from here. Mm. It's just they're probably last in priority, is what uh, I would assume. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah. So we went, they went ahead and uh, captured our people. So yeah. now it's back to you. Okay, so I'm going to do this while I can. Uh, I'm going to go to the quarry here and get two stone. Nice. And stone is needed for donation, and it is needed on a couple cards I have here. There you go. And since I gave you my stone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's it. All right, so back to me. I'm going to build this building since you gave me all those materials nice. in order to do it. So I'm going to go to the guild hall. Okay. Let's go do that right now. Speeding up this game. We are one away from doing a uh, apprentice reset. It's okay. And so I'm going to build this building, which is the clay market. Nice. If I have the most clay at the end of the game, I get two points. So the overlord does not uh, does not earn any resources. So I just have to have more clay than you. I'll dump my clay if I need just to. Make sure. I'll that donate this my clay to you. Happens. Perfect. That's a two, that's a two clay swing if I do that. Yeah. <laughs> two clay swing. Yeah. Okay. So this cost me. Um, I have to have one of those workers here, which I do, my acolyte. Mm -hmm. Then I spend three clay. It's two stone and one gold. Ooh. So there's my one gold. Okay. This is going to be worth six points, and I can also put an adornment on it, which I will consider doing later. Yes. Uh, because I went to the guild hall, I get to take a worker back from prison, That's and good. I get three donation actions because I'm on the level three of the cathedral. So I'm going to give you two deaths. Okay. <laughs> and my clay. I'm oh, sorry, my gold. Okay. Because you needed my gold, right? Yes, I can use your gold. So now I don't have any resources. I don't have any building cards. I just have money. So I'm looking at these adornments. So then, three deaths, huh? Hmm. The only problem with doing those adornments is you lose workers. And I'm already kind of low on workers, so we'll see. It's me. All right, so we're going to flip over the card. Priority order. Okay. They're going to go to the quarry, actually. Yeah. Because there are two of you there. Yeah. We're going to capture you. <laughs> that was nasty. I'm going to the town center for sure. And then they flip over an event card. Come on, be, be kind. Oh, no, these are terrible. 
Everybody loses a building. A building? Yeah. And to be clear, I think that is discarding a building card. Yes. Not a, build not a building. building. No. I just realized. Thank goodness. <laughs> we came to that realization. So yeah. I don't have any building cards in my hand. Okay, I'll discard this one. And the reason why is because I don't have the uh, the assistant to help build it. So it would have been nice, but Perfect. it's got to go. So that is that is out. That's it for the Overlord. Back to you. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the Guild Hall. Okay. This is good. This yes. is good. And so uh, I will be building a building. So I'm going to build this one here. It cost me the gold that you gave me earlier nice. and one marble. It is worth four points at the end of the game. Uh, and immediately I get one of each basic type of resource. So a stone, a wood, and a clay. Perfect. Stone, wood. Oops. Stone, wood, and clay. There you go. Cool. I'll just put it up here. Yes. And so you get a coin. I do get a coin, uh, and then I could do the donation thing. Uh, what's our... We oh. need three more stone to fulfill this one. Um, I can... <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll donate one stone, because I need that stone for this next <laughs> this next thing I'm going to be working on here. Do you need your wood? Yes, I, I need four wood total. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. You want to donate the one stone? Yeah, one stone, and then the other one uh, is going to be just unfortunately wasted. So then we do, I believe this is an apprentice reset? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and discard these. Move these down. We are almost there. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. So <laughs> We really don't want them to put out another uh, uh, token or person here because then it's 20 more points. So here we have the jeweler. And uh, we love the jeweler's image. And then we have the trader. So, all right. Uh, back to me. Hmm, what do we do? I don't have any cards. So maybe I should gain some building cards. Because that next level on the cathedral is going to be eight. You know what? I'm just going to get building cards. So I'm going to go here to the sure. workshop. And I gain two building cards. So one plus one for every two people you have there. So. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Anything good? Uh, We'll see. These are kind of tough. I forgot mm. how tough it is to build these buildings. I need some money. So maybe I should just snag them. What do you think? Well, I think it's the overlord's turn. After their turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see. We have the guardhouse. Oh, send me to jail. So this is good. Uh, they go to the guardhouse and they are going to put everybody back. Put and one coin in the tax stand. They take all of their, their people back. Yes. You put the coin in the tax stand? I did, yeah. They also go to the mines and nothing happens. That's it. Now it's back to you. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? It is Maybe it's time for you to get your people back. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll go, I'll get myself out. Mm -hmm. And then on my next turn, I'll go to the town center, wrangle him up. Mm -hmm. And because I'll have one person already in the guardhouse, I can drop him off, get the money, and then save you out of there. Because okay. I'll have two people there, unless I get cleared out somehow. <laughs> but but yeah, that, 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 is that a good plan? Yes, okay, go for it. So, let's see right, it. Let's go there. Uh, everyone comes back. This is a good time to get everyone back, though. Like, this is a worthwhile yeah. time to go when everyone's <laughs> just there. If you're going to waste the whole action going over yeah. there, might as well be... So. For all of that. Exactly. All right. That's so back to me. Yep. Let's see. If I want to go back up on the cathedral, I need eight stone and wood. Yeah, you need to Ugh. just load it up and, and survive. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go and put my artisan here. Okay. And gain two wood. Since it is my artisan, it's just two wood. And that's me. So back to the overlord. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Tax stand. Tax stand. Okay. So there is so they go here there is not four or more so nobody loses the virtue because there's only three silver but all of those go away that's okay it wasn't that big of a tax mm -hmm. and then they go to the silversmith and that's it that's back to you okay so i said i would wrangle them up right that's that was the plan yes so i'll go here uh i will pay one to the tax stand good thing i, I did now after they carry <laughs> the tax stand so i'll just take these two guys from the silversmith and then sh i'll pay I think you can only do it once, right? No, I have the uh, antagonist over here. Oh, yeah. So the antagonist, so to pay one extra, I can take another two. Uh, let's take them out of the town center here. Nice. And so now when I go back, I spent two, but I'll gain eight. So Very good. good. And I'll free you from prison. Yes, that would be awesome. And then Hopefully we can, they don't yeah. mess that up. And then, I can, and then we can progress the guild hall mm -hmm. again so that we don't have issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I still have my artisan in the forest. I might as well continue... Trying to get more wood. As, so. yeah, as much as you can. Yeah, another so two good. wood. <laughs> Just, Just like that. grinding it out. More wood. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, now it's back to the overlord. <sighs> Don't do anything. Here we go. To the workshop. Oh, no. This is the one where you have to lose an apprentice. Uh, maybe I'll just get rid of my acolyte. But they do go to the workshop. Just like that. And they're going to wrangle me up. 
And then somebody, one person has to lose an apprentice. Are you in love with your apprentices? Well, the town center is uh, th that person I just used. The antagonist is nice yeah. to make money. Do you, is there anybody that you're like, meh? I, I do get the two clay for, for going up the cathedral, but maybe it's time So to if say you goodbye. lose that, that person, do you have any buildings that require a yellow, this yellow symbol to construct? Because if that's, a, that's no. something that you have to think about. No? No. Not, not in my hand. So the acolyte goes... Out. Again, this is only one person has to lose uh, an apprentice, not not everybody. That was sad. I didn't yeah. like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. They put so two in the tax stand, though. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Overlord. Two in the tax stand and then one more forever or future future scheme card. Oh, it's a black market card. Okay. Somebody loses a virtue. <laughs> uh, we need to get you out of this negative one, by the way. This, this is, I, uh, yeah. I need to be, build a cathedral in order to do that. That's the problem. You do. Yes. Okay. So it goes to you. Yeah, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go and free you. So we're going to go to the guardhouse. Okay. So I have two actions here. First action will be to put them in the slammer, getting <laughs> me eight coins. And then the second action will be for you to retract everyone. Yay, one, two. thank you. Yes, three, four, five. That's great. So what am I doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Done? So I should have nine coins. Yep. All right. That was I... good. Huh? That was good. We did something. Yeah, we did something we did that something. we tried to. We actually tried to plan yes. to do, and yes. it worked out. So I'm gonna buy an adornment. I'm gonna build an adornment by going to the guild hall. I'm gonna place this worker up here. Okay. And this one. This one, yeah, because this lets me. So I, have to, I spent spent five coins to do it. So here's two, in there. Yep. And, and three. three to you. So is it from those eight, I'm assuming, you take any one from those eight? Okay, so for this adornment, which I'm going to place behind my clay market, it says to wipe all the apprentices, refill them, and then I get to take one at no cost. Cool. So that's great. And it's worth three points. That, yeah, so that's big. That's nice. And you just lost an apprentice uh, from that last uh, nasty. Exactly. I was thinking about getting an apprentice anyway by going to the black market, but this save way... Save your money. We don't have a black market reset. Yeah, save the money. So we actually oh. save the debt card. So here we go. Anybody, anybody, anybody cool so far? Yeah. Oh, there goes the strong man. Uh, no, no, no. The strong man says when you place out your artisan, you have to pay uh, two less silver. So that's cool. And that is the only one from the Age of Artisans deck. Everybody else is kind of uh, from the base. Does anybody just straight up get you? A, oh, when you go to the, oh, you go to the forest, you get an extra wood. Ooh. And you're already in the forest. That's nice. But this person will get me out of the. Uh, no, if you have nobody in prison, you gain a uh, you gain a marble. But they gave me a virtue immediately. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to take this one. Yeah, the, This one is nice because just, when I go to the forest, which I'm probably going to go to again in the future, I gain an additional wood. Yeah. So let's do that. And then you slide down. I hope you survive this whole forest thing right here. <laughs> oh, the laborer. Okay. So nice. Just one of each symbol is what they have. That's not bad. All right. So that is me. I went to the guild hall to do that. So because I went to the guild hall, I get to take, oh, I don't have anybody back there. So that, that didn't work out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I have three, uh, technically three donation actions. Do you is want there, anything? Is that there I a have? card in your hand that you see I have resources that I can build? Okay, you can have this one. Okay, perfect. Take that one. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to build either of these. Okay. It, it requires yeah. me to have an apprentice that I just don't have. I need a stonemason for both. So, well, at least you can get that as a benefit, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So can we refill the craft market Ooh, that's nice so this says four points it's essentially the same thing as this card except if you build it as a tool then you can lose a virtue mm -hmm. to take a marble all right so we are in the final quarter of the game yep this can kind of snowball yeah. as long as we can try to put more people in the guild hall yeah we really want to rush it right now they only have two workers in the guild hall so that is 20 points per player, 40 points total. 40 points. That we, we have to hit. Yeah, which I don't even, I don't know, even if know if we, we have. have <laughs> but oh my we'll get points for satisfying these cards. And if you don't expose this card, then we get an extra five. And every one that you don't expose on those events, you also get five points. So we're, we're, we're in the wheelhouse. I, I don't want them to build the guild hall, though. That An extra 20 points yeah. to overcome is, is tough. All right, then. It is time for the Overlord. Let's see. Okay. The workshop. workshop. Oh no, it's another demand card. Okay, so they go to the workshop. Uh, Which is where again? Here. Ah, uh, yes. They put me in prison. Oh. And then they flip over the fourth, the final demand Dang it. card. I wanted that. Marble. Oh my god. Marble. Forget about okay. that one. Okay, no, no, no. no it's, I'm it's gonna adorn. <laughs> I'm gonna adorn this. Okay. That's two marble. Yeah, we need three. That's two. 
You uh, can just go here and turn in three resources. We need to have a black market reset so that I can go back to the black market is what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So now they turn in two, two, two money to the tax stand tax and they looking real nice. gain another one of these future cards. So it's another priority order uh, discarding a worker out forever. Yeah. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. All right, back to you. I think I'm going to adorn to pick up this marble. It, it'll get us an extra point. I have the money to do so. Okay. So I'm going to adorn. Let's go ahead and put this onto there. So I'm going to the guild hall. Yep. It's going to cost me five to adorn. So two, two, two three, into the tax stand. Two into the tax stand, which is a nice time to rob it. And then I think I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to adorn this courtyard. Perfect. And so that gets me two marble immediately. Yes. And the two marble is what I need to either donate here or uh, to move up the cathedral because it requires marble. And one of my cards here that I, I was planning on building, which is worth eight points, uh, also needs one marble, so. You should go up the cathedral. I should go up the cathedral, right? Because yeah. then if not anything, only that, we I should just say, this is only gonna be worth minus two. If per we player, don't right? Per player. But it's minus, minus two points versus everything else you can do with that two marble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go up that. It would be nice also to get a black market reset so that I can go here and take mm. two marble and two stone and finish out both those cards. It's true. That okay. would be nice. So because I get to, I'm doing the guild hall, yep. I can donate. Now you have that card. Well, you that, get a silver first. I do get a silver. Yeah. And you have that card that says clay is valuable to you. M both my, uh, both of these. Yeah. Don't have anything to do with what I have. So in you my don't hand. need them? No. I will take them. Yeah. Thank you. So is there anything else I'm supposed to do other than refill? I think that's it. That's it. If you okay. can't Whoa, donate. Look at that adornment. Stuff. It's six, but you lose two. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well then, um, I'm going to go. I'm gonna, gonna go. Hit that forest hard. To the forest, yeah. I'm going to the forest, and that's gonna gain me four wood yeah, because of one, my two, three, plus wood one, cutter. Oh, so oh, now you have so enough. Good. Now you have enough to move up this I track. Do. I do. I need to do it. I need to go there too. And it gets you out of the hole on the virtue. I oh, need I to make sure that I go up the cathedral before we have a black market reset, so that I can take one worker back and not lose a virtue. Doing it. Yeah. Okay. Overlord time. The overlord cannot go to the guild hall. I think. The forest. Oh. oh my gosh, my people. <laughs> the forest and the quarry. Yikes. So it's going to be forest. They take. They only take two people. But uh, if ever they're given the option of an artisan, they always take <laughs> the artisan. Dang it. So that's that. And they also they also put them back <laughs> yeah. into prison. And now they're in so prison. that just takes away everything that I just said. I need to remove these people from prison. That's what that means. Yes. And then uh, they go to the quarry. So one person goes to the quarry, and that's it. It's gonna say you should go to the guardhouse. You should gain. You should go to the tax stand, and you should go to the guardhouse. If I go to the tax stand, I lose all this and all my bump on my next cathedral hit, which is exactly what I have. The marble would mean I would not be able to get rid of one of these. This is better. Oh, you, go okay. to the, you go to the tax okay. stand. Uh -huh. You lose the two virtue. Uh -huh. Then you go to the to the guardhouse. Uh -huh. You take one action to get back my people. Okay. Another action to spend six coins to flip a debt. Another action to spend six coins to flip another debt. And that way, I think when you flip the debts, they're worth points, right? Let's find out. Uh, oh, they are worth... you go up a virtue. That is so the answer. Oh, that is the answer, Monique. <laughs> okay. Oops, I knocked you off here. We, we have to make sure that they don't take you from the guardhouse. That's the only thing. Tax stand? Yes. Tax stand. Okay, so we're going here. Uh, I don't have anything that mitigates this, so I will go down one, two. Okay. Oh, so close. Uh, but I get to <laughs> take get all the cash. Hopefully, do you have at least 12? I think so. So it's five, and then this feels like more than seven. So six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a lot less money, but That's you, okay. two of the debts will be, we'll be squared away. Will be gone, yeah. Okay, so it goes back to me, and uh, it's time for me to go up the cathedral, right? Uh, yeah. Then do you want money, since you're going to be short on money? Yeah, are you gonna donate? Can you donate my money? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to the, to the cathedral then. Okay. So I'm going to the guild house, the guild hall. Nice. Sorry, and I'm gonna go up the cathedral. I have to spend eight. <laughs> All those resources. <laughs> All eight of my for. wood. All that chopping. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's that's worth it. Eight wood goes you, out. You do not have to discard a card. No, nope. you're Frederick. I gain one virtue, so I'm finally out of the hole, <laughs> that minus one point hole. I went to the guild hall. So mm -hmm. I gain one worker back. I'm going to take my artisan back. Yeah, might as well. And I can do four donation actions. I don't have any stone. I don't have anything for any of that stuff. But I can give you money. Sure. Because you're only, only going to have how much money left? I think two bucks left. So yeah, it'll be nice. Here, I'll give you four. Just give me all the money. 
four coins. Sure. Right? Sure. There. So you can still do stuff afterwards. I have five coins. Yeah, five coins is, is five enough coins to do is something. Five coins is like the nice, yeah. So they only have one worker, so I think they're going to get a free re reset yes. on their turn, which is very unfortunate because they clear out of the prison. But I'm going to get you out of that prison. Thank you. Because I would <laughs> like to do a black market reset. Uh, and if you're going to go, if somebody's going to go to the guild hall again, it's going to do it anyway. I plan on doing that um, at, a, at a certain point, yeah. So Overlord's time. Here we go. And it's the mines. Okay, so this last person goes here. All right, and then they put out, they're going to recall all their people. Yeah. That's unfortunate. This is super unfortunate. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We're not going to win this. This is, uh, <laughs> I'm just this is in troublesome. For the, the hilarity of it, I think, right now. Yeah, because they had four people in the prison, and then they got a freebie out of prison. Get out of jail free right here. This is the worst overlord ever. Meaning, this king is bad. Because bad they're person. black mark. Yeah, exactly. Because it's a black market, they put in the right most, meaning they're going to trigger a black market. Right now. Meaning Monique is going to have the most in there getting another debt. Yeah. Which is going to be a big problem. And I'm going to lose a virtue and lose right a virtue. now. That is so, so funny. Let's that do work. it. So uh, we're going to have a black market reset. All these people go in here. I have the most, so I lose a virtue. Mm -hmm. And I gain a debt. No, oh, sorry. I have at least three, so I lose a virtue yes, and I gain a debt. Because you have the most. So you have the most. That's your debt right there. Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh, well, then uh, this is going to flip over. So at least yeah. we have a new offering here. Sure. Ooh. The problem is don't go here before the next person does this <laughs> because then you'll get trapped and, and get sent over there. It's true. So now it is your turn. Please bail me out. Please. All right, let's go. So we're going here. Okay. Uh, so the first action of three is uh, you get to remove yourself from Perfect. there. Perfect. Thank you. Yep, no problem. That's nice. And then, uh, like we said, um, I'm going to do this twice. So six is going to go into the tax stand. Three, yeah, six in the tax stand. Four, right. five, six. So good time to rob it. Okay, so <laughs> six, and then six are going to go out. Out. One, two, three, four, five, and six, leaving me with five points. And you get to flip over two deaths. Two deaths get to flip, which is great because that means I get uh, two virtue, one, two. So Yay, that, was, so a big, that back, was a big swing. Back at the top so there. So that's gonna go out. And then on my next turn, I definitely plan with this marble to try to move up here. And because I would be here moving up, I mm -hmm. would get to get rid of this one. I wouldn't Perfect. get to flip it, but I'd get out of it. So now I can go to the black market because uh, I'll only have one person in there. So this is good because this requires now three uh marble three marble which i could you, do at the black market you know what i think if we were to satisfy this here that's eight points yeah right so eight points is better than uh what how much how many points is that card worth seven so it's it's plus eight or minus four which is a 12 point swing so just do that i think just do that right okay well either way i'm gonna go to the black market so i'm gonna go here okay and i have to spend three uh silver Sure. I don't lose the virtue, but I do get all that stuff. So it's two stone, one wood, and a marble. Nice. Perfect. There you go. And, the, and again, you don't lose uh, because of your illusionist, I believe? Correct. Yep. yep. So that's it for me. Okay, so Overlord. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ready? So they go to the Silversmith. Ooh. They go there. Nobody to pick up. Everybody either gains a debt or loses two coins. So let's just lose two, these coins. two coins. Yeah. <laughs> Forget these two coins. See you later. And then we flip over the next oh, one. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna do it again. <sighs> so they go to the mines. Uh nobody gets picked up. They also go to the tax stand. Oh, they're gonna no. rob the tax stand. Everybody loses a virtue. I can't build a cathedral. I'm gonna lose the virtue. Oh no, the thing I was about to do. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I was about to do. Oh, and that's you brutal. empty this. All oh, that money that I was brutal. counting on. And then we, we flip over and resolve another one. Oh my god. Uh, I feel like they're going to get... They're going to do it again! Okay, so they go to the location that has oh, the most no. people. So it's going to be the guardhouse. Yeah. And they take all of you. That's okay. They bail their people out oh, of prison. That's no! terrible for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a move. Everybody has Lord. to lose a building card. So that's my building card anyway. So no. never mind about that. So... Oh, because I'm going to go up the cathedral. I need to lose one of these building cards. <laughs> this is a terrible overlord. All right, I'll build. Uh, that, oh, my gosh. Wow. And then they put in two money into the tax set. Oh, that's and nice they resolve the last card. Oh, my gosh. Which is the guild hall. Oh, no. So now we have to score an extra 20 points. Where's the, oh, the guild They're hall? They're going to cause it to. They have a market reset. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my that gosh. means you are going to get put over there. Another dead. We're going to lose this game. We're oh, going... 
to lose. Oh, we're to lose. And they go to the king's storehouse, nobody to pick up, so Naveen goes to prison. Oh my god, I hope we're playing this person right And because they right. did this, Monique, there's a black market reset know, at the end I of their know. turn, meaning I'm taking on debt and losing virtue, which yeah. is bad in points. I know. Ah. So this is the black market reset. I go in here. Naveen, uh, you have three or more, so you lose a virtue. Yeah. You also have the most, so you get a debt card. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be me. I guess it's you. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh well we are that's a four point loss a right lot there. closer to ending the game that's good <laughs> i think <laughs> kind of maybe uh, so we're gonna do guild hall okay okay it's gonna cost me the marble yep and the one card i have in my hand <laughs> that goes out okay uh so then that's gonna progress me up here mm -hmm. which is nice you gain a virtue i do gain a virtue which is good um, and then, because I did the uh, guild hall... Yep, you get a silver. I get a silver. You get a building card. I get uh, I get a building card per No, level? you just get a building card. Just one building card? Yeah. Oh, okay. It would have, that would be nice. Good? Yeah, so... Please? Okay, it's, it's worth four points. It's uh, It requires three stone and a... Um, a marble? A marble. Oh, you need one more stone. <sighs> but I wanted to donate the marble right away. Wait, did we do the black market reset? We did, yeah, oh, yeah. We're we're way past that. Now. We didn't flip this. Oh right? yeah, yeah. That, okay, that so we have a new flipped, yes. a new uh, black market offering. Just one, <laughs> one marble. I mean, hey. And we also have the two two wood, a gold, and a stone. Huh, interesting. Mm. Okay, so let's continue to resolve this. So I can donate uh, up to three now. Yes. So if I donated these two stone, we can clear out that. Yep. That stone issue. Let's do that. So that's done. Perfect. So that's now, that's a huge swing for us. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's one, two donations. I'm going to donate the marble. Okay. Do we, are, are we going, we're going for it, let's right? Let's go for it. Okay, yeah. Because I, I held back my marble anyway, so yeah. let's just do it. And then you have resources that you can turn in here at the King's Storehouse to get a Or I can marble. just go here. That's true. Yeah, Although I do need money. That's the only thing. You, do, you don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to go to the tux stand either to do yeah. it so i'm gonna have to wrangle up this guy's People. got nothing on the board he's got yeah he anyway. got a freebie all right so back to me i'm gonna go yeah. and get some building cards let's go to the the workshop and i'm going with my artisan so it's i'm gonna get two cards because my artisan counts as two mm -hmm. and that's, that's it, it. Mm. okay so i'm gonna shuffle them interesting all right so back to the overlord here we go newly deck new deck newly shuffled workshop, workshop. oh okay. they're gonna come and arrest you Oh no, my artisan! Ugh. Every time. He's getting old, overlord. <laughs> I don't is. like you taking my artisan. Ugh. Uh, okay. They don't. They cannot flip over the last or any more demand That's right. cards. They've all been flipped. Yeah. They put in two coins to the tax stand, and the last future scheme card goes goes in. That is a king's storehouse card. Uh, okay. All right. That's it. Back to you. That was uh, not mm. so bad. Not terrible, but. Well, I have I have this, so I I will use this to gain three of a resource. So let's go ahead. I'll go to the quarry. Let's get three stone. Okay, that's that's great. Hey, mm -hmm. that's really good. Yeah. Three stone for you. Uh -huh. uh, How do we get you some virtue? I can't get money really. The only problem is um I can pick uh, up the overlords workers, but there's just like one one everywhere. You can't even, no, you can't even pick up the first one because uh, when you have no money, it at least costs you at least one oh, yeah. to the tax stand, so. I go to the silversmith for two coins. <laughs> you know what? You could. It, it, that's why it's there, unfortunately. The overlord's going to be mean. Okay, two coins, two silver, please. Two silver. All right. And then the overlord goes, here we go. Oh, come on. Okay, they go to the forest. Oh, they're going to arrest you. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I almost went to the forest with this. Oh. I almost did. And then they put everybody... Although they, and then they, they're going to go to the quarry. They the prison. They're going to go to the quarry. They go to the quarry. No! And they take Naveen. No. Been taken. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, I, I really wish uh, I wasn't kicked out of the quarry. So I, I, the plan was to go back for more resources. So I'll just take one stone. <laughs> One this stone. late in the game, one stone is brutal. Oh my gosh. Uh, are you going to go back to the silversmith and compound your money? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> yeah. Let's go there. So 
to gain three more silver, so yeah, I have now five. Now you have the money to do what you got to do. So I could technically now go to the black market mm -hmm. and gain some more resources. Okay, so we yeah. have something. And you can also go to the king's storehouse uh, to turn in your stuff for that that last uh, marble you need. All right, let's do the overlord first. Okay. Here we go. So they're going to go to the tax stand. And oh, are they seriously going to the tax stand? Yeah, we, four we both there? lose a virtue. My virtue. <sighs> This is. I think. I think we're so done. I, I think we're. I think we're gonna lose this. Oh like, my god! This you're at so, minus five. I'm at minus five. I need to gain virtue somehow. But how? How do you even gain virtue at this point? I have to hire this person. That's what I have to do. I have to hire. I have like to hire one somebody. person. All right. <laughs> well then. Yeah, they clear oh, out the tax stand. The they also go to the silversmith and arrest my my two workers that I had here. Uh, and that's it. This is bloodshed. <laughs> oh, it's a bludgeoning. <laughs> total. Bloodshed. Uh, um, we need to. We need to rush the game. We need to go. Just go. 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 Back to you. All I'm right. just gonna have to hire somebody that gets me virtue when I go to the king's storehouse. I'm, I'm gonna go to the quarry now. So I have. Uh, can I get two more stone, please? Yes. So now I have at least on my next turn, I have the eight resources needed to move up this cathedral, uh, and that'll put one person out in the guild hall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something. And then on the next one, we can try to end it all but right i'm gonna I, I don't i don't know if we're at 60 points that's the problem we're not <laughs> yeah you'll see okay. <laughs> oh my gosh this is terrible i'm gonna go here i'm going to the black market i'm spending my three coins i don't have to lose the virtue which is great and that's i get great. all those resources i'm just you get a gold also yeah i get a gold a stone just whatever you do hang on to that clay because if you have the most clay at the end of the game it's an extra two points so that's me uh, unfortunately that was it so back to the overlord Who's gonna go to the silversmith? Okay. And put everybody back here. We have to spend two coins or uh, take a I'll debt. I'll spend two coins. Ah, uh, but I won't be able to, to hire that person. Uh, well, you can. Uh, yeah. But what are you gonna do in your turn? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to the cathedral and I'm gonna spend all this and then I'm gonna give you my two coins. Perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna yeah. donate. I'm going to spend two coins yeah. then instead of doing that. And then they resolve the next one. Oh, come on. Which is going to oh. a place in priority order. It looks like it's the quarry. The quarry. They're taking Naveen. Uh, the and... problem is that bell was five points for us. Are yeah. you flipping that? Everybody loses a virtue. <laughs> oh, man. Not so. Okay. So you lose two points here. I lose one point. And we lose five points because that bell flipped. And you know what? To be fair, I think I was supposed to lose a coin when I lost a virtue, whenever that was. We didn't do that. So this is a big... Uh, no, 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 no. This huh? means anytime you have to give money to the tax stand. So when you go to this workshop, yeah. you, you oh, are I paying to... one less. Because you're so... Oh. You're so scummy that, yeah. uh, that you don't pay as much. So yet. now I can gather people for free. Yes. Or I can gather my first yeah. gather. I can do... Yeah. Yes. Your first gather is free. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Well, we're running out of time. <laughs> okay, your turn. Sorry. Uh, let's go. I'm running out of people also. This is bad. Yeah, you got to go here. I, I, well, let me do this first. Okay. So I'm going to go to the or guild hall. Maybe I got to go there. Who knows? I'm going to go to the guild hall. And uh, now that I have eight resources, so we have six uh, stone. Yep. And two wood. So now I'm, I'm basically, I have, I have nothing to show for my, for this after this. So... I'm contributing. Yep, you have to discard up. a card. I discard my one card, so look at this. I have no cards, I have no resources, <laughs> and because I'm doing all well, this stuff... Well, you get a virtue. I do get a virtue. And because you're doing all this stuff, you do... I, get, I gain one coin. <laughs> okay. I can do up to three donations. You can do up to four now. Yeah, I have nothing to donate other than my money. Here's here's uh, the two bucks. That you wanted to give me? How much money did you need? Huh? Do you want me to give you all three? Well, now I don't know what I'm going to do. So we just need one more... Well, you're going to hire this person, right? So here, I'm, I'm going to give you all three. Okay. And because I'm in the town center... Uh, oh, no, no. I need one. Okay, I need one buck. There, yeah, I need one buck. One. Yeah. Okay, there, that's it. That's it. Okay, we need one more person in the guild hall to technically end this game. To trigger the end. And to then they'll the still end. get one more turn. I don't have... I can't build a building. I need to get out of here. Issue I, I don't even have now. building cards. Oh, no. Because I went up the cathedral. Yes, I get one building card. Oh, that's right. You know what? I could technically Ooh. build this building. The only problem is I'm going to spend so many turns to do this because I need to hire one of these people. And then tap, tap, tap. You know, I'm just going to do my original plan. Let's just see if this can work out. Because this can score more points if I do this. So, so I'm going to go to the money. black market. I have to spend two coins, oh, two boy. silver. And I'm going to hire yeah. this person, the patron. 
at least the patron's another axe, and so mm -hmm. that's going to score an additional point. Oh, nice. At yeah. the end of the game. So now I can go to the storehouse and spend a wood for a virtue. At least there's that. I don't know. I don't know what's right and wrong anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. We have to do the overlord mm -hmm. who is going to go to the mines. And the tax stand. So we go to the mines. So they're going to just throw me in jail, right? Throwing you in jail. Well, they're going to go to the tax pain, stand. Buck. And they don't take you from the tax stand. That's nice. They of just them. go there. And uh, if there's money in there, and there's no money, so nothing happens. Oh, they go again, though. They go oh, again. Don't go again. And they go to the town center. So they're going to take you from the town center. And everybody is going to lose one worker from here, which I guess we don't really care too much about anymore. That's yeah, not too bad, I and guess. And then uh, in priority order, they're just going to go out to the tax stand because that's the only other location that has people. Right. And they're going to take you. <laughs> well, at least I you guess can that's get eight coins for that person. Uh, yeah, I could. And that's it for the overlord. Back to you. So I could go to the town center here. Let's do this also, by uh, the way. So another enforcer. Oh, uh, this one is when you put people in prison. You gain a building card. Okay, so Gosh. back to you. You want me to go to the town center? I mean, I only have one coin. I got really nothing else going for me right now. Uh, this card that I have in my hand is is virtually useless to me because okay. it requires resources that are not going to happen. So uh, yeah, I think I have to go to the town center. Uh, spend my one coin to the tax, and then I'm going to take all these people here. Even though I have this antagonist over mm -hmm. here, uh, I don't have the extra coin to grab and gather anybody else. All right, I'm going to go to the guardhouse. You know, I'm just going to free my people early. Yeah. I'm a little bit too worried about this. Let's do that. All right, let's see. We have workshop. the workshop. Uh, OK, their okay. last person, their last person oh. goes to the workshop right there. OK, good. At least good it point. wasn't a doubler. Your people back. One person loses an apprentice. Uh, Who is that going to be? Do you um, have an apprentice that you don't care about? Yeah, you know what? I, I, huh? I mean, I could lose my woodcutter, but it's one point less for me. You know, I can just get rid of the antagonist. I don't think I'm doing this much anyway. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just get rid of the antagonist. Okay. They're gone. That works. Yeah. Perfect. So I'll just slide that in there. Two bucks in the tax stand, and then nothing happens for that. Okay, that was yep. virtually, that was not too bad. Yeah. So now for you. Okay, so because on their next turn, they are going to strip off all of their pieces on the board. I'm going to go ahead and go to the guard house, the guard house and I'm going to drop off four of them and get eight, eight bucks. Four. Yeah, nice. Good timing there. Yeah. That could have been terrible otherwise. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know what I'm doing with the eight dollars, but uh, it's something, you know? Yeah, so. yeah. All right, back to me. Yep. Um, I am going to go to the King Storehouse. Yes. So I'm going to King Storehouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take this action, which is two, do two donation actions. Okay. And uh, the first thing I'm going to give you is a silver market building card. So that is a mm. building that I, I would like for you to build. So I'll give you that card, and then I'll also give you this marble. Oh, the marble. Okay. Yeah. Cause. Ooh. So we're not get, We're probably not going to do the. Um... I'm going to try because I can try to go to the king's storehouse again. Okay. I guess I'll turn in three wood to go uh, to to get a, a marble. Let's do that. Okay. Three so wood for a marble. Thank you. Well, that's it. So now it is the Overlord's turn. So they are going to go to get all their people first. Yes, they have nobody left. So they get freebie, free return home. Yep. And then they're going to go to the mines. So mines, uh -huh. nothing, else nothing else happens. They go to the rightmost spot of the black market. That oh, is going to trigger oh, a black market reset. Oh, how horrible. Yeah. This is, At this point, oh. we're just kind of rolling with the punches. These all go in here. Amazing. And uh, whoever has the most, which is you, you lose a virtue. I take a debt. Oh yeah, three or more, it's a virtue. Whoever has the most takes a debt. Oh so my gosh. Here you go, your debt. I don't, I don't see a way out of this. This flips. Mm. And, oh, well, there oh, you go. Marble. Now there's tons of marble. <laughs> but you have no money I to go get it. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm too virtuous to, to go get it. Oh my gosh. There's nothing you can do. Well, it's back to you. <laughs> <Not me. laughs> I'll take one wood, please. Are you sure? You're I think no what more? would be a better idea is if you get you and me out of prison because you get two actions here. Mm -hmm. And then I go to the king's storehouse and do more stuff. Do more stuff. Sure. Because I can do more. I can do two more donations. I, yeah, that's fine. So we're both out. Yeah. So at least that way you have your artisan now and you're not doing one wood. Yeah. One wood was was pretty terrible. 
well, there there will be a one wood. <laughs> so, no, well, you have your artisans. So you'll, it'll be three wood. At, you know? Yeah, but then uh, the card you handed me, if you recall, it required gold. So the artisan... Well, I'm going to give you gold. You're going to give me gold? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Feeling better? <laughs> a little bit better, yeah. A little All bit right. better. I'm going to the King's Storehouse. So, you get so two I actions. get two actions again. Uh, I get my two donations. So here, I'm going to give you gold. What else do you need for that card? Do you have wood? No. You can get wood with your artisan. I can get wood with what, my artisan. What else does it need? Just two wood. The, okay. So you are set. Yes. I gave you the one gold. I'm going to ah. donate a marble then to there. And then for oh, my second action, nice. I'm just going to turn in all three of the stone to for another marble. marble. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is okay. Here you go. If you can give me wood when you build a building, that would be fantastic. I can. Because then on my turn, I can, uh, as long as they don't mess me up, I can go up a bird two. I have no idea what they're going to pull right here. So plans. we're making plans like as if we can control it. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. So guardhouse. Guardhouse, okay. Guardhouse. They, they take all of us. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> they, put them they take their one person back. They put a, a coin in the in the in the yeah tax stand. They go to the mines, and put and all, all of us, us in the slammer into the slammer. That's it. They are a strong overlord. That's for sure. That's it. Okay, so artisan gonna go to the forest because of my special ability. It's three. Yes. Three is good. One, two, three. So I'll keep all my resources here, like I had earlier. Back to me. Yeah. Oh. I needed that wood for the next time I go to the storehouse. I'm gonna get one wood. <laughs> Give me one wood. Sure. Then I'll then I can go to the, the storehouse and assuming those people are there, then I can try to boost up my virtue. Okay. I like let's it. let's do that. So I'm gonna go to the forest just for one wood. If I had wood. money, it's over there. Then I would be able to well, there's actually not much more than one wood over there anyway. No, yep. So that's that. <laughs> nope. And that's it. That's it for my turn. Oh, leave now us we go alone, to the overlord. overlord. Guild going to the guild hall. So, oh, he triggers the end? He triggers the end. I'm going to continue and I'm still going to do my turn. I have to donate that marble. This is terrible because now they put a worker out in the guild hall. So Triggering now we have to... The end. That triggers the end of the game we and we have to, to hit 80 points. <laughs> we're going downtown. Oh, we're going down. There's no down way. Downtown. Okay. There's no way. <laughs> And then they go to the king's storehouse. They take me. They wipe you out. Yeah. So all my plans, everything that I just discussed, was so proud about, foiled. Uh, um, but well, that's, that's it. That's, that's it for them. Okay. And so because they, we have filled up the guild hall, we each get one final turn, including the overlord themselves. Yes, because I started the game. Yes. So it's an even amount of turns now. So I know uh, what I'm doing on my turn. I have to turn in this last marble. So you do. Okay. Do something great. So, well. I can continue to go to the guild hall, so I will. So I will go here, and I will build that building that you gave me a long time ago. So Perfect. the good thing is, if I have the most money uh -huh. at the end, it's an extra two points. That's great. It's nice. It's so nice. it's a uh, two wood. Yep. There you go. Yeah, and you uh, have that apprentice. Perfect. I do have that. Up, uh, which one? I'm sorry. The the. Yes, I have the yellow. yellow. Yeah, the one. yellow. That's right there. So a gold um, and a marble. Gold and a marble, which I can turn in here. And so that's worth six points. Yes. Something. And Plus you have the another money. two. Yeah. Uh, so I can now do, I gain the coin. Yep. Because I went to the guild hall. And then I get donation actions. Four donations. Do you need any money to do whatever you're How doing? How much money do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, because on my turn, I think I have to just donate that. that um... You're just going to go there and, and drop it off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have nine? What's that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're one silver short of a I, point. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. And you already took the silver? I did. Oh, ah, yeah, we are just, yeah. That's it. That's that's that. Well, I'll donate this wood to you for fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. All right, then. Well, back to me. that. So I'm going to go to the King's Storehouse for my final action. And I am going to donate this marble. So at least we've completed all of the demand the demands we have three marble fives yeah yeah we've we got all of that it. stuff yeah, we maybe we did that a little too early maybe maybe I have no idea yeah maybe yeah could have could very well have been so that's it for me mm -hmm. and now the overlord will take their final turn uh, i wish they didn't have to take a turn i know same. what are they gonna do to us we have a uh, priority order okay then they're gonna go to the area with the most which looks like this one forest the forest they take them 
they break their people out of jail. That's nobody. Somebody loses, or everybody discards a building card, which is I'll fine. I'll discard my card, fine. Two coins into the tax stand, and they flip over the next card, which is, again, priority order. So it's either town center or king storehouse. So it's king storehouse. Go there, they take me. Uh, everybody loses a worker. This is here. excellent because at the end of the game, for every two workers you have in there, it's minus one point. So we, he helped us. Uh, not everybody lose one loses point. two. Two. So well, it, oh yeah, so it, every it, two workers. it also doesn't okay. matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. That was great. And then you do the last one. Oh my gosh. Oh no, and you keep going. Okay, I so think that's it though, right? they go to the black market. Somebody loses a virtue. It's got to be you because if I lose another virtue, it's minus. Oh no, I guess it's it doesn't matter. The same matter. difference, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. let's make it me. <laughs> okay. And then we shuffle uh, this. This is like adding so much insult to injury. <laughs> this is the final if turn. If you pull the guild hall, it's 100 points. It's over. <laughs> we better not pull either the guild hall or the event. Those are the only two that really matter. Here, let's give it a really good shuffle. Yes. There we go. Last card, hopefully. Would you, you like to flip, flip it? it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Oh, okay. Town this is center. Good. At least it didn't compound. Okay, so okay. they take you. Come out. Right there. Some, we lose people, but there's nobody there anymore. And then uh, they go to priority order. Nobody's on the board. You've taken so many of our people. <laughs> yeah. So you then they go in this order. Mean. Mines. And they're going to put all of these people. Oh, gosh. They're going to put all of these people in prison. So that's going to be <sighs> minus two points for me and one point for you. Minus three points. Uh, it's like another debt. I would have rather taken the debt. Well, <laughs> good news. The game is done. <laughs> Good that news. was atrocious. That we Horrid. Wow. Well, let's do the math. Let's do the math. The game ended with the the guild hall filling up. Mm -hmm. So the overlord has one, two, three, four, four people in the guild hall. So we have to hit 80 points because four times 10 points each times, times two. two players. Yep. So minimum 80 points. Let's count up our points, <laughs> shall we? Let's do it. All right. So we're going to use the app again. And the thing that's nice about the app is it has an option for the Age of Artisans expansion as well as the Tome Saga yeah. co-op mode. So this is a really good app. Very good app. Yep. And for anybody who is curious, it is the Gar Garpill Games. Garpill. Garpill. Yeah. Garpill. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can look that up in the app store and it's, it's, uh, it's free. It's yep. great. Okay, so first things first is the buildings. Uh, how many points did you earn from just buildings? Do we count the adornments? I don't think so. It's just the printed values and any bonuses. Eight plus six, uh, that's 14. And then this would be the bonus at the bottom. I do have the most silver. Yep, so 14, so 16? 16, yeah, that'd be 16 there. So 16 for Naveen. I just have these two, so it's 11. Okay. I have the most clay, Yes. so 12, 13. And it's one point per uh, these guys. So one, two, three, four. Nice. So 13 plus 4, 17? 17, so 16 and 17. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Not, That's, well. not getting going to add up to 80. Wow. Uh, next thing is the cathedral, final positions. We are both in the 12-point position. That's 24 so. points more to That's us. That's okay. Bad. That's pretty good. I think. It's I don't these know. negatives that are killing us. Final position on the virtue track, for me, it's going to be minus seven points. <sighs> I know. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Plus one for me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, it's the negatives that are killing us. For you, it's uh, plus one? Yeah, plus one. Okay. Unpaid debts, I have one. I, I have three. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's what's going to get us. It's, yeah, it's the, so I, the minus points. So it's minus six? Minus six, yeah. Okay. Gold and marble. Do you have any no, gold we, and No, we had to no? spend it to get to get through the stuff. One point per ten silver. We already discussed that you... I have nine. Have nine. Yikes. Nope. Uh, one minus one point for every two workers in prison. <laughs> so so it's gonna minus be minus one to me. Minus one for you and minus two for me. Gosh, the yeah. minuses. Overlord. Okay. Adornments. Okay. Did you? Yeah, I have two adornments, so it's a uh, one plus three, four points. Okay, perfect. And I have these two, also four points for me. Tools. Do you have any tools? Uh, yeah, I have one. <laughs> okay, so it's one point for you. I also have one, so one point for me. Okay, demand cards. So we fulfilled all of these. All four of them, yeah. So we each get, so it's four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten points each. And then the event cards, uh, there are How many left? two event cards <sighs> two. left. When they pulled that third one, I was like, no. So another ten and another ten. So another twenty, okay. Our final score, they don't add them together, so I have to do the math. Okay. Our final score is 90 points! Oh! We were <laughs> we successful! Won. Wow. Uh, uh, now I feel bad we were whining the whole time. 
Well, we're, we're very newbie to this version of playing the game, so that we was... We won. The Overlord was not... Well, did not come out on top in the end. I don't know if we... It felt like... It felt pretty bad. We were getting crushed from, like, turn one. It felt pretty terrible. I put my artisan out in the forest on turn one, and he said, nope. <laughs> and that was the way I just felt the entire game. I mean, that's how Constantine worked as well. Yeah. But yeah. the Overlord is, like... Constantine on like four cups of coffee. Yeah, right? just <laughs> like right, they yeah. are ready for business. Well, that's Let's that. talk about it. Sure. Uh, this was a bonus playthrough. We were gonna do this as like let's just that'll be fun, right? Let's just show off the Age of Artisans expansion. A lot of people were asking about it, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we get to play our Ar Ar architects co-op. Yeah. How fun does that sound? Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was hard. It's, like this, this is, is very hard. I will say there are a few caveats, or there's one caveat. And that is that this is our very first time playing this. Yeah. You know, we don't really have a ton of time to put out um, an extra video this month. And so we said, you know, let's just learn it and just understand how it works and then just play just it. Play it and film it. So <laughs> this was our very first time playing the yeah. co-op scenario and the Age of Artisans expansion, by the way. Yeah, so we, we have, kind of threw it in there. Yeah. So we have two things to decompress about. Um, and so maybe it's not as hard as this because most of the time, your first time playing a co-op game is problem is usually the hardest right uh, yeah yeah In our yes experience. yes for sure yeah if yes it's the inexperience makes it harder yeah yes it, because you don't know how, how it's going to truly happen you don't know how difficult that scheme deck is going to be mm -hmm. and so i think that in future turns it won't nearly be um, as hard as this and so we do have a couple of, of things that we've learned from this playthrough yeah let's talk about the age of artisans expansion yeah and then go into the the tome saga co-op what do you think about it yeah so i could i interesting the age of artisans expansion in the co-op and the way the bot works i don't know if adorning is yeah it's distracting it, i think it's a little distracting i in don't the think scenario. it's quite uh as needed or you know it's it's just um you're getting like one or two points here and there yeah. but you're spending time and doing actions when right that one action that overlord's coming back and he's gonna do something really bad yes. you know on his turn so it's like was that one action to get those two points yeah really worth it so so speaking just on the age of artisan expansion then no no co-op no co-op like in the competitive what yeah. you normally I play you get, yeah I, yeah, I, I actually do. I do like it. Yeah. Uh, I think it does add a little bit extra. It does make it a little interesting because you do have to uh, put one of your meeples out into the into the guild hall. So it kind of freezes you up because towards the end of the game, as you can see, you know, you will most likely find yourself in that situation where you're like, I, uh, I don't want to have to go to the guardhouse, mm -hmm. but I have to because I'm on like like my last two workers. So it does make it still interesting there where you're like, okay, is it worth it to waste or spend a worker out in the guild hall? Mm -hmm. Because down the road, maybe, you know, I won't be able to use it. So um, I think it is interesting, though. I like the fact that you get bonuses uh, aside from just victory points. Mm -hmm. So it does influence your decision even more. Uh, but yeah, I, I do enjoy it. How about yourself? Uh, yeah, I think the Age of Artisans expansion is excellent. It does a few things that it does a few subtle things that uh, just improve the base game. And for me, I'm not big on expansion content these days that just like turn the game into something new. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really love expansions that just enhance what I love about the base game and just yeah. make the base game better. And I feel like in some ways the Age of Artisans expansion does that yeah. because it adds the in the Guild Hall overlay. It does add the ability to reset some stuff in the Apprentice, yep. which I think was really good. Um, I really, really love the artisan, the artisans, yeah. because you know you're so it's so frustrating. <laughs> the, well, it can be frustrating when you just put out one person for one wood, yeah. And yeah. this is a way for you to always get at least two mm -hmm. in the first time you place it, and you can kind of make a machine where you can get the artisan back, you know, and just keep putting the artisan out. Uh, we didn't do that clearly because we were so distracted by the co-op scenario but yeah, that is yeah. kind of what you can do um just playing with the expansion mm -hmm. there are also apprentices that uh, like these the strongman the strongman apprentice makes the artisan better right yeah so yeah. and there are three of these strongman cards i believe and they each do something different with yep. the artisan so i really like how that works i think the coolest part about the expansion are the uh, specifically the tools in the the craft cards mm -hmm. because you can create like really cool combos with mm -hmm. your apprentices and those tools we did not do a good job showcasing that today no i mean i got uh, a coin every time i did the, the yeah. gold hall action which and i guess pretty useful i did have that one uh that one that let me take my worker back from mm -hmm. prison one worker back in prison every time i went to the guild hall so after a while i slowed down by a lot in going to the guild hall so i didn't get to continue doing that but that would be a good way for you to continue getting your artisan back from mm -hmm. prison to be able to put them back out again yep. 
So that's really cool. Just the fact that you can create stronger apprentice bonus combos is yeah. really cool. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the extent of the Age of Artisans expansion. It does add orange, which orange. Naveen's happy about. I love orange, yeah. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's playing as orange. And adds those two new player boards, mm -hmm. uh, including Walric over here, which you were playing as. Yeah, that, I, I think he was a cool uh, He was a cool guy because uh, your Meeple, the Artisan, is now a, a three value mm -hmm. versus everybody else's is a two. Yeah. But that's, so that's... that's your only benefit, you know? So you got to get that, that Artisan out. That can be pretty powerful. Yeah, if you have a way to get your artisan constantly moving mm -hmm. and flowing, then yes, for yes. sure. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the co-op scenario, how do you feel about it? Oh man, I, I don't know how we won, honestly. Like I, I could have swore we, we were we were done. I for. think that's the funny part about it. I think it it's made to make you feel like you're losing and it's just so punishing because in this game you you know, you really want to compound workers in one spot in order for you to gain so many more resources in one go. And this overlord is just taking you off. It's just like not every gonna turn. happen, yeah. So you're not doing that. And they're also, I guess because in, in a co-op scenario, like when are you ever gonna go to the guardhouse, right? So they really made it so it's like, you mm -hmm. need to go to the guardhouse. You are required to go there at some point to get people back, to get your opponents or your uh, other players who are working together with you to get their yep. workers back. So I can I even, understand why. Yeah, I even went they there. They work that way. Oh, sorry. I, I even went there to flip over some debts, which I mm -hmm. almost rarely ever do mm -hmm. in the game. So um, yeah, you're right. It, it it definitely makes you have to go there. Yes. So it's I think it's more of a they're leading your behaviors in the game in a certain way, and they want you to go to the guardhouse. They want to take your people off the mm -hmm. board because, or else it would just be really, really too easy, I guess. Yeah, because you, you don't just... have your opponents uh, tossing you in jail. Yes. Only only they are tossing you. Only in Only they will do yeah. it, mm -hmm. and it's not only a co-op scenario for two players. Players. like you can you can play a three four player game yep. right with mm -hmm. this co-op scenario mm -hmm. so um in two players it just seems pretty tough it, yeah because the it's... turns come back around to the overlord pretty quickly yes if it was That's like a four player exactly co-op I mean. <laughs> if it was four players like okay i'm gonna mitigate then you then you then now it's back to you now it's just this one turn yeah. even though everything scales so like all those cards to, to get those uh those achievements mm -hmm. you know um a, a two-player game is five but a four-player game is like nine for the stone i feel like you can still i don't know maybe a higher player count you can just like wait, stomach the you storm can, a little bit you can get bit away more. with it a little bit more i think so higher player yeah. counts yeah uh, and also because eventually, you know, the Overlord, the way that they work is they get stronger as time goes on. And so part of the reason why we weren't really, uh, you know, using some of the tools of the Age of Artisans expansion is because we, after a while, realized that we need to rush to the end of this game. You need to end the game Because soon. the Overlord just gets really strong. And at some point, they just keep on, you just keep on flipping their scheme cards that, that has the symbol that says yeah. flip over the next yeah. one, resolve that. And you're yeah. just, now you're just resolving the entire deck. Yeah, I and think at the very really end, shuffle, right? it took, what, like four turns in a row? Yeah. Yeah. So that's really scary mm -hmm. when that happens. But going back to what I was saying earlier, I think the Overlord is makes you feel like it's, like, way hard, but the actual endgame scoring conditions is not strict. Mm -hmm. And so that was with the standard scoring condition of this... Uh, of this overlord there is also the advanced board or the harder board with yeah, that's on the other side that's right and that's 12 points 12 points okay it's 12 points per person that they have in the guild hall that's right and it's only four event cards so uh we didn't it didn't happen to us but if you flip over the last event card it'll end game it ends the game immediately right right and it's minus 10 points per player and they they flipped over four on us <laughs> so yes, we would have lost yeah so we would have we would have lost yeah. if we were playing the harder game yep <sighs> I think it's a little bit too stressful of a play mm -hmm. for architects. I, I feel like with the the co-op, I, I don't know if it kind of makes me lose a little bit of what I enjoy about architects because architects out of the three games mm -hmm. for me was like the silly, lighthearted, freewheeling of the three games, right? Yeah, like yeah. you you get thrown in prison every now and then, but not like every turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gosh, it's, it is right? almost every single turn, yeah. So. Uh, I think this co-op scenario is good for people who want just like this challenge. They they don't mind that stuff, and they really want to play this game with like with a good challenge. I think this that scenario is made for you. Yeah, uh, I I totally agree with you on this. Uh, mm -hmm. I think in the as we were playing, I was just like, gosh, this guy is just like beating us down constantly. Yeah. Like kick them when they're down. That's what this overlord down, does. So. Uh, yeah, I feel the same way. I, I know exactly what you mean about that. Um, mm -hmm. And the Tome Saga does come with a co-op mode for all three of the games. So if you get the Tome Saga, not only do you have that that campaign thing mm -hmm. that we did, but you also have co-op mode for Paladins and for Viscounts. So we don't know how the other two plays. No idea. I'm, um, I am interested, though, because this yes. is like, I, I don't know, I to design this and to put this kind of stress on you, 
Uh, I am very interested to see what it's like in the other two games. Yes, I now would really, really want to play yeah. those two co-op. Definitely not on the channel. I think this is going to be the extent yeah, of the West Kingdom trilogy. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I am very, very interested in the other two. I am. <laughs> So, in the end, how did you feel about this experience, Naveen? Uh, I feel like we shouldn't have won. I don't know how we won. Um, we're going to have to do the math again, probably. But uh, yeah. it, it was it was fun in the end. But uh, but for me, I, I like I said, I don't think I'd be itching to play this particular version of the game. I do like Architects, but uh, in terms of the co-op, yeah. I'm not sure if, I, if I'm ready to jump back into Just it. Just play the competitive mode. Yeah, exactly. For me, I, th I thought that, you know, in the end, now that I know that we won, it feels a little bit more fun than maybe <laughs> it was in the moment. The stress. But but Age of Artisans expansion is fantastic. Yeah. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. So if anybody out there wants to try this co-op expansion, some recommendations for you. Or if you're going to play with Age of Artisans, maybe try to avoid uh, willy-nilly building adornments and uh, tools because you probably just want to rush the game. Yeah. Get as many points as you can, as quickly as you can, and fill up the guild hall before they do. Yeah, because um, every turn you are spending building a, a tool or mm -hmm. an adornment is a, a wasted turn doing something else towards just getting that guild hall. Built. Time yeah. is of the essence. Yeah. And use your artisan to the best of your ability uh, because they're going to keep on putting you in prison. They, yeah, exactly. And also work together. I felt like we could have improved a better, you know, approved yeah, at the beginning, our I gameplay yeah, a little bit more than that way. At the way. beginning, I think we didn't play as well uh, cohesively. We didn't, just, yeah, discussing we Discussing exactly what we needed to get done, but... Mm -hmm. Because we're, we were so used to playing this game competitively that you kind of like look at your buildings and you plan rather than realizing like, hey, I can donate my building card to you. You can use your apprentices for it instead of me trying to get my own apprentices right, for right, it. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So communicate, work together on donating to each other, and then also uh, work together in getting bailing each other out of prison. Yes. So if you can do that yeah. properly, then you'll probably do uh, better than we did. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be less stressful. Yeah. So anyway, that was the Architects uh, co-op scenario with the Age of Artisans expansion. Well, thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in seeing any other videos in the West Kingdom series, uh, we will leave a link to the playlist up here. And we will be back with a wrap up of the entire series and we'll talk about everything and then we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.